AR Blue Clean AR383 with 1,900 pounds per square inch. Easy to use, brilliant cleaning results. Quickly blasts away dirt, mold, moss, and grime. This electric pressure washer includes nozzles, spray gun wand, detergent bottle, and hose. Have a honey-do list? Make it a honey-done list with the AR383. Seen when Harry met Sally? Well, in this review, it's more like when quality meets performance. Make quick cleaning jobs of decks, patios, siding, driveways, outdoor furniture, cars, cars trucks, RVs, and all-terrain vehicles, and more. Dirty mouth? Don't get orbits, get a life, and then get the AR383. Attachments included. The professional style power washer. Two different pressure washer wands. Professional style pressure washer gun. Is your patio falling apart? The AR383 is the place to start. 20 foot high pressure hose. A detergent bottle with the ability to house 14 full fluid ounces. And two, one, two high pressure quick change wands with pressure washer turbo and variable nozzles. Gutters full of debris? Order the AR383. Can't catch your throat? <laughs> Order a boat. See? Neighbor flaunting their new hot rod? One up them with a brand new pressure washer. Environmentally friendly. Conserves water by using 80. That's right, 80% less water. Did you say 80? I did. With 40% more power than a standard garden hose. Quieter than gas engine models. Your neighbor boasting about their new V8 Hemi Gas Guzzling Triple Carb Four Wheel Drive Earth Heater. Show them your AR383 and prepare not to ever be invited back over. Easy to assemble. Pull it out of the box. Insert the hose reel. And attach the handle. Connect the high pressure hose. And garden hose. Plug the GFCI. Pull the trigger to start cleaning. It's almost too easy. Looking to change the climate and don't want to ride TriMet? Do your part. Buy the AR383 to start. And their customer service, best in class support. Contact them anytime in friendly Minnesota. Using the information found in the owner's manual. Yeah, and obviously we're not going to use that shit, but here we go. Come around the tree if you want to know a little secret. I've got something to show you. You want to get your uh, little paws on an AR-383? I know a guy. Simple, easy, fast. Sent to your door. Two days. You in? You in? Are you in? I'm just trying to help you out. You want to be the only person in your neighborhood that doesn't know how to clean their house? Does everything by hand? I want to make it easy on you. I want you to start the journey with us on the AR-383. Make your life easy. But hey, if you're not in, you're not in. Come on back. Let me show you. Amazon.com. AR383. $153.99. Free shipping. It's easy. <laughs> I'm scrolling. Boom. Proceed to checkout. Shipping. Two days. Boom. Push the button. Send. It will say thank you for your order. Here's your order confirmation. How do you want it sent to you? What do you want to do? It's easy. Here's the deal. I'm going to cut to the point quick. I can't do everything for you. You're going to have to do this on your own. AR. Three, eight, three. Now I'm going to show you what to expect after you receive your order. In this real life dramatization with Amazon Prime's 48 hour delivery service, this perp can expect his package delivered to this anonymous location. See? As expected, the package arrives on time. And what appears, Joseph Wilmington has opted for the eco friendly delivery service. No box. I just got my AR-383. I, I don't even know where to begin. I mean, this is just too much. I don't, I don't even know how to start. I mean, this is, this is just, uh, I need help. I don't, what's this? Oh, who, who are you? You've unlocked the secret wish. Hey, over here. I've been brought to you by the manufacturers at the AR Industries. I'm here to give you three instructional wishes to show you how to use the AR-383 setup. I need help. <laughs> Ask me anything you like. Anything? Truly. What's two plus two? 59, sir. Perfect. So how do I even get started? I mean, it's not even put together. Down here, please. Starting with the hose end first, you will install the adapter. Then, you will take the doohickey and install it on the AR-383 body. Next, 
you will take the adapter and plug it into the doohickey. And when you hear the click, that's meant to stick. Let's work our way through the machine. AR383 is housed with an electrical water pump, providing enough power to do the dirtiest jobs. We'll plug in the wand hose, squeak, 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 and finding our way to the other end of that hose, we will install it into the hand portion of the AR383. With a snap and a click, you know it's sure to do the trick. Oh, fuck. Next, we will work our way up the wand, finding various attachments, starting with the extension. It's simple. A groove portion in here matches up with the groove portion in there. And they get jiggy. Now you can use the extension wand and add another wand, such as the multi-angular zero degree to 360 degree super precision point tip. We can install this into the top of that. Now we have one extension. There are a variety of extension, like this one, the conical tip, this one, the 10 inch smooth flat plane surface. This is a suds dispenser. Hey, cream your coffee with the suds dispenser. Next, we've got a variety of components that were purchased aftermarket, which you may consider purchasing for yourself. And we'll show you how to use those after the show. Are you guys having problems making your garden look bountiful? See? See? See what we're gonna clean next? Everyone has one. Holds your hose, gets nasty as heck. See? Look at the grime. Shh, don't disturb it. It pesters and lives in your plastic. Destroying everything you paid for. We're gonna get rid of it with the AR-383. What are you doing? I'm removing the only O-ring we have to switch between these devices. We're gonna go with the soap container. We're gonna flip it on just like that. So it uh, disperses uh, foam right through there. So we're gonna fill this up with maybe mostly this and then it sends water through there and then it splurshes out through there. Splurge, it's a word, look it up. I wouldn't recommend dish liquid, especially from 7-Eleven. But this is a tutorial. And I don't really wanna put chemicals into the, into the earth. What's the need? Ready? Yeah, you're good. Do I need to fill it up more? There we go. And this is probably not the right soap either. And I can tell you right now it's working because I can smell the soap. What we could do is we could brush this by hand. Bad idea. We can use the drill technique with the drill. That's a decent oh, idea. Oh, yeah. But just imagine having to get through all those crevices, all those turns, all those angles. And then what about underneath? That's a fatty, yeah. isn't it? We don't like those guys. So check that out. We didn't buy this yesterday. How long have you had and it? Since after I fell off the turnip truck. Okay. We're gonna put on what is my favorite tip, and that is the conical tip. I washed a few times, man, that's... And it does a wide area. It seems like it's cleaner. It gets a wide area faster. And cleaner. And cleaner. I think it's because of the gyrating action, mm -hmm. the agitation. Ready? It makes a cool noise too, right? Check it out, guys. Take care of your product. It's a power washer. It's not a stain remover. What would you call a power washer with gangly teeth from Britain? Uh, Prince Harry? An Austin power washer. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want that. Hey, using the AR383 takes old fence into new fence. Super easy. Check it out. That fence? That fence. Super easy. See, my friends? Three panels of wood, three different extensions. Conical, disc, band. Let's see which one does best. Let's see if the grime leaves town. You saw the conical tip before, worked a miracle. Now we're gonna use the 10 inch patio and driveway cleaner. See? See? That's crazy, guys. What I really liked about this, if you don't like to get dirty, you don't like that overspray. This is kind of acting like a shield. You put it right on the board, you drag it down like you're just drawing. It keeps all the gunk, the grime inside the brush. You bring it down at a nice, steady, slow pace, and boom, look what you got. You have to get the extra add-on. This is the 10-inch patio driveway cleaner. Find it in the links below. $22.99 on Amazon. 
it's worth it, get it. Look at this technique right here, geared towards saving this young man's back so he has plenty of pressure washing life. This has been a message from your occupational therapist. Continue. Stop. Go. Pause. Rewind. Forward. Play. This middle one right here, we use the conical. This one right here was the disc, the 10 inch disc. This board right here was the wand that uh, starts at a zero degree angle and fans out, okay? And it actually doesn't look like it did very well. Maybe it was, it, with you. was it the board or maybe it was it the gyration that dislodged more dirt. And we do see some splintering on this old stanky, stanky wood. Here's the deal, the disc isn't made for this. This. But I'm telling you right now, ain't for this. use the disc. Disc but I'm telling you right now is for this. Use the disc. Use the disc. Use the disc. You don't go up and down on it. You literally start at it. It's wider than the board. And Top you to just bottom. Go down and it's even throughout the whole oh, way. Another good thing is uh, with a little bit of spray coming out on the edge, mm -hmm. you might be cleaning a little extra area. 24 hours later. After 24 hours of drying, see, see. Time. Put a cherry on top. Hey, here's what I have for you. A cherry. Pat on the back, buddy. All right, let's clean some more things. <laughs> Hi, I'm on the top of a roof on a home. Not my home, my dog's home. You use the AR-383 for your home. What about your dog's home? Let the AR-383 extend the life of your dog. Dog wants to live in it, let's take care of it. All right guys, I'm gonna use a conical tip on this dog house, okay? You do not power wash shingle roofs on your home. This is a dog house, doesn't matter. Always start out far and work your way in. Mm -hmm. See? We cleaned half the doghouse. You can see the difference. See? Hi. Does Fido need a place to lounge? 383. Conical tip. See? Does Fido need to learn how to ride a bike, but it's just too darn dirty? <laughs> See? Look, the bike is as good as new, ready for Fido to learn. See? See? Ready to turn up the heat on filth? Chimenea. Make that sun shiny again. See? Impress your friends with the clean fireplace. Light a fire in the fireplace. See? Using the conical tip, vapor rub lubricant. See? AR-383, blue clean. <laughs> Disrupt this rust. How filthy that is. We're actually gonna use high heat ultra so we can disrupt the ozone so we can get a better tan on and maybe uh see 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 See? Beverage? Sure, bud. You see, hard work doesn't mean you can't have a little relaxation at the same time. Watch us clean these boards, having a little family time. We're gonna use the AR-383 10-inch radial disc. See? That's what I tell him.
Sí. 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 ¿Sí? Is, is that is that water coming off of your face? It's surely not sweat. Clean electronics, PC, computer. See? Dusty electronics getting on your nerves? Try my home remedy, the AR383. Worked for me. Let's see it in action. See? Bye. Ever feel like you've got too many grapes to peel and not enough fingers? Try this trick, AR-383. Let's see if it can peel grapes. Charlie, that tickles, Charlie! Charlie, that tickles! Hey, hey buddy. Huh? Open up your mouth. See? Mmm. The AR-383 can peel grapes. Let's get down. This is your captain. Please fasten your seatbelt, pony. And you can clean your Legos with it. Time for takeoff. AR-383 can even clean Lego my Egos. See? Right, pony? See? Hey, psst. Come here. I got something to tell you. You can even clean gutters with the AR-383. Let me show you. Come here. Follow me. <laughs> Boom. Clean. Dirty. Dirty. AR-383 clean. Dirty bad. Dirty naughty. Click the link below. See? Is there parking on your driveway? Drive it away with the AR-383s. Patented 10-inch dirt driveway dirt, dirt parking cleaner cleaner dirty, dirty clean thing. thing. Think your driveway's not picking up after itself? Oh, oh teach it a lesson! And stop stressing! No need for salad dressing! Is dirt on your driveway driving, driving you? Well, pull your loco! Use the attachments! And slap dirt on the oh, wrist! Cause you're pissed! <laughs> Tired and excited? <laughs> About removing scum from your driveways? Bum bum! bum, bum. Me neither! Well, let's do it anyways! Tool, tool the driveways! Driveway. See? Is dirt getting on your driveway way? Well, park the AR-383 on the dirt way. <laughs> and say good day. No way. And on delay. Uh oh Is dirt too dirty for you? Clean your dirt with one little squirt. Keep it up until it hurts. Ah. Hit the concrete with an outcast concert. See? And get, get it so, so fresh, fresh so and so clean, clean. Watch out for Stephen King's Christine. Mm, perfect and pristine. Nah, mm. man. You can even clean your patio footstep rubber footer off or dirt thing. Or you can send it to the graveyard of mats over here. See? Ever wanted to be an entrepreneur? Get in that lucrative fracking business? Watch! See? A hole. Make seed holes! See? Want to plant pumpkins but don't want to start from little seeds? Start with a small pumpkin! Come! See? See? Turn 
your AR-383's wand onto the archaeological setting. Let's see what we can find! Look what the AR-383 uncovered. Make sure you use the fan not to disturb its findings. Now let's use the shears to do the last bit of the work. A rock. <laughs> Geology. Hey, numbskulls. See? And there's secret treasures hidden on this map. And you might discover Pokeballs. And you, you can, can clean, clean rugs. rugs. We're going to see if we can get this clean and restored back to antique roadshow condition. It's been sitting out here like this for over a year. Hi, for this job, we need the AR-383 Blue Clean Team. Oh! Old Mikey. Huh. 15 years ago, hide and seek. Called him hide and seek Mike. Found ya. He's been hiding for 35 years. 30, that's a discman. And that's gross. This rug is all dirty. Uh, the AR-383 can clean this right up in a jiffy. Blue clean, conical jet. One conical. Doctor. Doctor conical. Doctor McGonagall. Oh, my gronical. Doing it chronological. Dude, I wonder how Mike died. Yeah, on a serious note. Do you guys have weird. any clue? I feel bad, I mean, we were the last ones to see him. Yeah. Let's get that rug clean so we can still use it. Yeah, let's eliminate any evidence that he was even here. AR-383, blue evidence clean can do it. Yeah, get out the lime. Bleach? I'll get the hydrochloric acid. We need to burn our fingers. Burn your fingertips on the chimney we just cleaned up. As fast as Mike came back into our life, we're gonna have to click, click, send him back to the future. Hey Mike, don't turn your back on us now. We're gonna use the murder weapon to help Mr. Sluggy find his way home. We gotta get Mr. Slug off this rug. We may clean dirt and grime to get rid of the crime, but we love nature. This right here, this is nasty. This is gross. Wand of truth. Blue team clean. Blue team clean. <laughs> it's taking the grind right down to the cement. <laughs> After it's all said and done, you should have a nice piece of cheesecloth left. You find yourself stuck between a rock and a hard place? Mother Nature getting on your nerves? Lesson 17. This shit's gotta fucking go. See? Remember the game Fruit Ninja? Want to do something with your kids? The AR-383 can do the trick, and you don't have to buy a katana! God damn. <laughs> See? Have an extra bird bath laying around? Need to fill it up to attract wildlife? Fill it up with the AR-383. Just remember to turn it down to the low, low setting of OFF! See? Oh, rats! <laughs> Bubbles! Who are these guys? They are the Garth Vapor crew! Kaka! 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 Oh. It's only a matter of time before cobwebs start forming. Use the AR-383 to blast through those pesky cobwebs. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> see? Snow covered peaks. And with a dash of class, a little peppercorn medley. <laughs> And why not? See? Hey, and then there was a, and then I was at the See? See? Blue clean. clean. Welcome to the AR383 Ramen Invitational. So the three contestants nice. will start at this gold line. We've got our buddy from Where are you hailing from, sir? Plane. Julian. Ricky. Go.
That is a disqualification for contestant number one. Tell us how you felt about your performance. <laughs> I was born ready. Placing ramen cup number two. Hey, welcome to the International Games. Hey, how are you doing? Tell us a little bit about how you're going to approach today's event. I'm going to win. Would you like to say anything to your fans? Fans? <laughs> I don't need fans. I need top ramen. Well, he's getting ready to blow you away. So let's get right to the action. Blue team. See? That's me. What strategy will you be imposing today? Anybody can do this. If they use the right attachment, the will, the drive, and the determination to fill that cup. Go. Doesn't look like a, like a very successful move. He may want to switch to a different tip. Go. No tip. Goal oh, score! And we've got you clocked in at 1 minute 27 seconds. Tell us how you feel about that performance and your chances in this division. Right now I'm in first place, but you know, it wasn't my best time. It wasn't my worst time either. There you have it, guys. He had the time of his life. I ain't worried. Blue team. team. All right, third contestant's getting his ramen ready. See? Hi there. Psst. Hi there. Oh, hi. First annual Top Ramen Challenge. What do you think your advantage is? Well, I come from a long line of prospectors. And so what I'm going to implement is I'm going to implement more of a, a delicate style, uh, a ballerina-esque. Let me show you. Roll the clock. Go. Oh yeah, yeah. One question I have for you. What do you plan on doing with 50 pounds of free top ramen? Oh, I thought this was for gold. Oh no, that's next week's challenge. You told me this was for gold. You better watch your back. All right, we better get out of here. Have a nice porch you want to keep clean, but somebody keeps tracking dirt on your patio. See? See? And we can restore patio furniture. See? See? And we can do downspouts. See? Birdhouses too. See? Hey, when you're on a roof and you want to be safe, always harness up. But who has time for that when you have the AR-383 Fatality Free Hover Wand Tip? You ride it like a hoverboard, just like they did in the movie The Breakfast Club. Hey, just watch as I trip over my own feet. See? See? Hi, how are you? Sick and tired of having windows with screens? All of them, they all have screens. They all need to be cleaned. Some of you guys clean screens on the grass, on top of your car, hanging from a tree. I'm gonna show you how to clean the screen from the roof with the AR-383 10 inch deck and patio and screen roof cleaner. As you can see with the forward backward motion, I'm cleaning the screen on the roof. Look how clean it's getting. See? Use your AR extender wand to get those hard to reach areas on the roof, like I'm doing. See? The AR-15 is the way to clean the screen. Uh, okay, let's clean the screen. Hi. <laughs> Probably didn't see me standing there because my screen's dirty. We're gonna clean it outside with the AR-383. With new technology, from the 10 inch disc, we've infused electricity powered by water and a little bit of heart. You wanna scrub first all around the corners. Make sure you get all those webs. <laughs> Bring it around like this and flip down. 
Things have never been easier with the AR383 screen door attachment. Our 383 cleans all kinds of things, guys. Thanks for coming to my AA meeting. See? After all the hard work, now it's time to play. Frisbee in the dial. Let's see what happens. And trigger. Time for liftoff. Now with the overwhelming success of that experiment, it's always nice to test the limits. Three at once. Look at the power. Now it's just time for a little one on me. Oh, see? 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 Watch. I caught it, see? I caught it, see? Hi, after cleaning up Fido's home, now it's time for a little R&R. &R. Go get it, girl. <laughs> oh wait, that's not my dog. See? Even though it's summer, it doesn't mean there can't be a little winter magic. Watch. It's snowing. It's winter summer magic. See? <laughs> Winter magic in the summer! Who would have thought? <laughs> See? Oh, look at you. You're just tired now, huh? That's what the AR stands for. Arxercise. Look how clean Lucy is. Never been cleaner. Coat's bright, shiny. She looks happy. Thanks to the AR-383. <laughs> We're gonna have so much fun. You can clean anything! Ain't that right, Luce? That's a rock! <laughs> Geology! Oh, hi there! Huh, I'm just doing some last minute pruning. How's your luck? We're gonna use the excavating tip to search for buried cans. They're worth 10 cents here. Look! We're making paleontology. Oh, I'm just putting the finishing touches on the bench that came with the house. It really does have a sweet aroma, appealing to the nose. I'm just finishing my bench up. Oh, hi! I didn't see you there. <sighs> oh, hi! <laughs> you found me! I'm just putting some uh, finishing touches on my bra brain. Just seeing what all the huff's about. Hi! I'm putting the finishing touches on the fence. <sighs> see? I have something here that works on the tiniest of projects, like my boat. It's ready to set sail. <laughs> Have you seen my rag? See? It's ready to hit the see? See? Now that it's done. Choo choo. <laughs> see? 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 Next, we're going to do the head to head competition with the AR383. Here's the AR383. Here's 30 second cleaner. Before me, I have three panels. This panel on my right is going to have the 30 second cleaner. And the panel on my left, we're gonna use the AR-383. And on the panel before me, nothing. And that cuts our work into thirds. That's physics. With the AR-383, it's just a simple trigger operation. With a 30 second outdoor cleaner, we have to learn to read. Mix equal parts with water, what? On a dry surface, saturate with product, who? Rinse with a garden hose, why? Oh, concrete, keep wet with the product for up to 15 minutes, then brush if necessary. I have to buy things to use this with? Now I'm gonna open up the 30 second cleaner. Push, turn. I guess this goes here. You're gonna wanna spread this generously like we're starting a small apartment fire. As per the instructions, now we're gonna dilute it. Now we're gonna leave it there for 30 seconds to 15 minutes and brush if necessary. I decided to brush, it seemed necessary, see? While we wait for the 30 second cleaner to soak into the pores of the concrete, we're gonna use the undeniable force of the AR-383's conical tip, see? Something doesn't seem right. Alexa, turn on power. See? Now the a AR-383 takes the lead with just under 28 seconds. Now as per the directions, 
we're gonna rinse off the panel with the 30 second cleaner and we're done compared to the AR3A3's panel. And then the panel we opted not to do. So we're gonna let the panels dry for about 30 to 35 minutes. Don't forget to set that timer. Bing! It's done. Let's check out our two panels. Here we got the 30 second cleaner. And on my left, the AR3A3. We're gonna talk about the pros. It works. Now this sucks. It doesn't do a great job on the edges. As you're walking with me, you can see. See? As we walk uh, across panel two, the untouched panel, dirty, grimy, disgusting. We come to clean territory. Look at the edges of the AR3A3 did. See? Hey, the AR3A3 is for me. And you. And you. Kick costly chemicals to the curb. See, to the curb. This 30 second cleaner, this 30 second crap. It bleached the crap out of it. With the AR3A3, make moving piles of wood fast, easy, and fun. See? After your lawnmower is done caring for your lawn, care for your lawnmower. Use the AR3A3 and give it a clean. Just give your lawnmower the tip. Now spray her down! See? It's on a roll! Hey! Take your new clean lawnmower, take it out for a spin on the strip and find a wife! See? Oh hi! Now that we're done, it's time to wrap things up for this segment. Come on, let me tell you how to take apart the AR-383. Simple, easy, fun, check it out. See, first, you're gonna wanna turn off your water source. Squeak, 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 squeak. Now, we'll turn off our unit. The zero, meaning nothing, no power. Now with the unit off, it's safe to depressurize the unit. See? See? Now we'll release the wand hose. Push in, pull. We can take apart the water gun. See, now we'll take apart the coupling adapter. And place these to the side for safekeeping. See? Next, we'll unscrew the wand hose. Next, let's disconnect our power source. Using the prefabricated caddy cord holder, we're gonna wind up our power hose. No one likes winding these up. Stay tuned though, we have a tip for you at the end to make it a little easier. Next, we'll use this windy hose carrier and attempt to wind up the hose with it. Hey, take a gander. Here's the tip. We're gonna stick in this little thingamajig bob, just like so. You heard a click. It's annoying. I would rather be with my family. Now watch. This literally takes the fun out of everything. Oh. Again, I'm just gonna go with it. See? And look, there's grooves to lock it. You push in. And it's locked. See how easy it was to wind up this hose? Now let's flip it around and see where the attachments go. That. Hi! Now that we went and collected all of our attachments, we're gonna see where we have to put it in this awesome caddy that the AR-3A3 has. Take your first pick. Oh, 
<laughs> wow, that only took 45 minutes. And we've got pieces left. Where are we gonna put them? See how easy that was? It only took an hour and a half. Let me show you how to do it the easy way in a fraction of the time. Oh, hi. You guys remember me from last time? This was all wound up the right way. We used this little flimsy thing here. We had a cord over here. We put all of our attachments that came with the machine over here. But the problem is this wind up sucks, eats time, tons of time. It kept unwinding and unwinding and it hurts. I was resuscitated. We bought accessories. This didn't come with it. So they didn't make a place for it. We don't have the kind of time we're like, wind up time, fun time, gonna make everything all right. We wanna get it done. So I'm gonna show you how we did this. I'm gonna undo everything, throw it around like I'm gonna do a fake project. Look over to my right, that little angel-y looking dead thing over there, okay? I'm gonna clean that if you will, follow me. My first thing is I'm gonna set this up about 10 feet away from it. We have a 25 wand hose and I'm gonna start. What do I do? Easy, easier. Bungee cord that goes around just to keep everything tight. That is so smooth. <gasps> oh, it just slid right off like that. Oh my. Oh, here's another one. Look at this, it's just there. Instead of having to go, okay. all right, family, I love you. Stand back. Ah, I don't know. Ah, I know one use for this. For Halloween, I'm gonna be a, a power washing mutant. Look. Ah, who's over here? Who's bothering me? Ah, give me some candy. Starting to feel a little numb here. Don't worry about it. The easily accessible coupler. It's right there. You don't have to find it in your glove box. You don't have to look for the junk drawer. And I'm telling you what, these are small. You will lose these. It's all tight right there. You guys will look and see one of our reviews that we did. It was really, really simple. One of them was this guy or woman, don't know who it was, said, oh, it's a great machine. It just takes forever to set up. It's so hard. Set that up. See? Okay, that's ready to go. Watch as I do this. Oh, it's out straight. Look at that, like a snake. And honestly, the beauty of this is I find absolutely no reason why you need to unplug this. If you want to unplug it, fine. Winter, I get it. Water in the hose, okay, cool. Simple. Do we need a water source for this? Yeah, water. Move on. Go over there, turn on your hose. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Easy as that. When I go into my house to plug this in, I'm going to have to push that. It's not just gonna turn on. So I'm gonna hypothetically plug that in. Once we have electricity, water, and the gun all ready to go, water turned on, electricity plugged in, hose connected to the wand, we're ready to go. Turn it on. Hypothetically, it's gonna go then stop. Your unit right there, and you got the line connected it's there. It's not tight. So it's a good distance. I need to go water that tree. Let's go. Can I do that? Uh, yeah, let's pick this up. Sure, it's got wheels as well. Let's go. Stop it. Done. It's that simple. It's light. Well, we've already told you, about 26 pounds. Okay. If you can't lift 26 pounds, you can't have a Thanksgiving dinner because that's about more than the plate weighs. All right, so my partner in crime is actually going to wind this up. And we're just going to show you how, how simple it really is. He's going to go at normal human speed. Click. He's going to go over to the water source. First things first. Uh, squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. And he's got, turned off the water. That's vital. He can't do anything with the water on. He's going to turn off the power. Turn off the power. Front of the hose? Front of the hose. It's disconnect. Click, that's simple. Take that off. Water will shoot out because there is residual pressure. And that's normal. So we don't crack this. We'll go ahead and plug them in together. And we'll put it in our little holder. That we showed you earlier. Ooh, look how easy that was. That was pretty fast. Now he's got the hose, he's gonna, you know, clean it up a little bit. Perfect. And by the way, guys, that's a long power cord. Boom. Get the big cable cut. Ready? That's off to the side. Ooh, got Keep the gun. Push in, pull out, gun to the side. Now he's gonna wind up the uh, the old wand attachment uh, cable. Now this is the thing you need to be a little careful about regarding uh, go with the flow on the cable. It's not like the electrical thing. See how it wants to wind up in a particular way? We just follow that. And you can go smaller circles if you want. Doesn't matter. 
It's all about time, speed, getting it done. And one of the things is we want to be able to flop it over the top, right? So we'll flop it over the top. This may be a little loose. No big deal. What, am I traveling across country with it? No, I'm not. We got the gun. Do we have to disconnect every single thing? No, we don't. We can just drop in. And right now, he's putting in things that, that came with the AR-383. Soap dispenser goes actually in the back. That's pretty much where you want to put it. Yeah, that's the one place we're going to put the right thing in. Okay. We could put our gun right there. So we got our, we got that attachment, we got that attachment. We got the conical attachment, which we can stick any which way. It and doesn't have a spot for it, but that's where that bungee cord comes into play. And this, this needs a bungee cord as well. Okay. So we can wrap it around there like that, which is what I'll do. That little so it hooks, yeah, hooks, hooks it around the little uh, the, the circular thing that was for the uh, hose, as you can see. Oh, oh, wait, we're not done working. Oh, it looks like he's running. He's off to another job. Look at him. He's just playing with his baby. Perfect. See? <laughs> now, was that painful? No. You're not even breathing heavy. How come? Oh shit, I'm bleeding. My heart's bleeding for you. <laughs> Subscribe, like. Click the link below, Comment guys. Below. See, see, see? Give me some of those. See? I believe I can fly. And right now? And you can see that the cables work because nothing's falling out. Hey, what's up, guys? Everybody was kung fu fighting. No, I was dancing. Oh. Right? No? I'm kung fuing. I always feel like we're in character. Like this whole thing that we've done, we've played these characters. We earned it. We need to be ourselves. Oh, so we be can ourselves. show the crew. Or fam. Or, f or club. Or guild. Or herd. Gun. Or herd. Or. <laughs> herd. Uh, herd. Gaggle. Pack. Uh, horde. Horde. Whores. <laughs> <laughs> the Garth Vapor whores. <laughs> the Garth Vapor bunch. And they knew much more than a hunch that this group must somehow form a family that's the way they all became the garth vapor horse i mean bunch, bunch. <laughs> Whoa. hey and we can have a, a dad and a mom and three kids and family and we'll leave that up to you the brady bunch. i guess whatever one gets most uh, suggested put it in the comments below what would you guys See? like to be referred to as anybody who is still watching after that whole mess of video that you guys had to get through if anybody's still watching you obviously want to be part of the crew why wouldn't you be <laughs> yeah be part of the crew why wouldn't you want to be part of this there's no question it's only answers that we deliver and truth and truth and truth and we have fun doing it. And we're going to show you what we had fun doing. 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 Is that you? <laughs> I don't know how much of this is landing. Let's get out of these characters that we're playing. Let's be real. Let's be real. Let's okay, be real. ready? Oh, that feels oh. so much better. Oh, I know what's wrong. We didn't hit the light. We need some of that kung fu action. <laughs> 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 That was just a demonstration of the Young Nuo 600 series set. Click the link below. That's the reviews that we do on Garth Vapor. You've seen that our reviews get a little out of control. That's what separates us from the... Uh, Monkeys? The flooded market in YouTube when it comes to uh, reviews. It's, it's ridiculous. You know what I'm talking about. That's why you're here. Yeah. You want to see something different, but you want to see something real. Bringing you those real facts. We're bringing it to you in a way that it literally, fun? clinically nuts. Nuts. Look and fun. Me. They've stuck with us. We're here to talk about the AR-383. That's what we reviewed over the course of the last so it's all few about. hours or however long you yeah. guys have been watching. This is not the end. You don't want to miss that. No, Trust me. We've got a whole Amazon review where we look through and sift through multiple comments that just blew our minds. Pros and cons. And I was like, what? There's a couple in there. I'm not going to ruin it for you. There's a couple in there where I was like, <laughs> I don't know why you're saying that. Yeah. I just don't get it. Yeah. So slated after this, we've got a whole pile of outtakes. It's hilarious. You. It's definitely us out of our element having fun. Yeah, this stuff was cut Being fun. and kicked. Oh, it was. To the back end of this video. <laughs> but we saved the best for last, maybe? Or the last is best. <laughs> best foods and mayonnaise goes good on a hot dog. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, I'm getting off. Subject. That's an Oscar Mayer joke. <laughs> It is B O L O G N A. Oh, hey. B O L O G N A. Hey. 
B O L O G N. Hey! See? See? Amazon reviews on the back end. We got the outtakes on the back end. Now it's time to run through the pros and the cons. Yeah. <coughs> Ooh, what we there we have it. Here? This is the AR383. Uh, so let's talk about a few of the things here. Let's do that. Appearance, portability, ease of connections, number of attachments, power and performance, mobility, once plugged in, right? It's key. Durability, operational issues, skills needed to operate, tips, tricks. Here we go. Goodness. Your appearance. How do you like? I like the airport. Okay, guys, bear with me here. I like the airport. Oh, That's yeah. my carry on. <laughs> okay. And I'm just wheeling it along like this. Looking cool. And everybody's like, damn, what's that? It's like, that's my AR-383. <laughs> and that's when someone busts out and goes, he's got a gun! Across the streams! <laughs> <laughs> so the appearance looks good. I mean, it's blue, it, it represents water, it's black, it's sleek, it's incognito. It's plastic. It's, it's whatever. You're going to see it in the outtakes, this being tossed up into the air and caught. Power washing's already hard as it is. You got that wand, you got all that junk, dude, you're holding stuff like that. This isn't heavy, man. It weighs 23.8 pounds. See? If you followed some of our tips and tricks, you've kept little uh, couplers and adapters and things in the right spots. You you haven't lost one of these because it fell off or you put it in a different bucket because you didn't want to lose it or didn't want to use it. And your wheels should last a long time, honestly. I mean, unless you can't lift 20 pounds yeah, and well, move it. Every time you do an oil change on this bad boy, oh, yeah. you want to swap the tires and rotate the tires. Mm -hmm. That's merely a joke. There is no oil. Well, you want changed. front disc brakes on these. I know that for a fact. <laughs> okay? yeah, yeah. Yes. Change the blinker light fluid every three to 5,000 and washes. Ease of connections. Let's talk about the front connections that we have as far as the ease on the front. You know, when you get a little deposit build up, it can be rough, but you know, whatever, some lubrication or something like that. Uh -huh. I didn't think it was a big deal. The coupler was pretty sweet. That worked. That went onto the hose just fine. Mm -hmm. uh, the back, with the way you wrap it up now, you don't really have to disconnect that any more. So you can't really get your fingers in it. You so, don't have to disconnect it. Uh, these sure. connections, remember between the attachments, mm -hmm. they were rough after a while because I've had this for years. Now, why did it get rough? Because somebody uh, let the dogs out! Who? 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 I don't know. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. We kind of winged it on that, didn't you? You totally winged vapor it. rub. And yeah. next thing you know, it's... I've got vapor rub on right now. It's Not only did I feel better... It's my cologne. <laughs> it's my cologne. It's not my go-to cologne. I'm just a menthol -y dude. Yeah, yeah. You're like, somebody goes, hey, you're pretty cool. You're like, no, I'm mentholated. I'm just mentholated, <laughs> dog. It's a clear <laughs> black night. Clear white moon. Warren right. G was on the streets. Trying to ease some of his muscle pain. The heat is on. Pain is gone. What do we got next? So other ease of connections. The Yeah, the lubrication really helped on all these tips. Click the link below. That was it, man. And the three prong plug, I mean, you don't even need to talk about that when we're talking about a connection. Correct. And you talked about missed connections, which is coming up in the outtakes, mm -hmm. which is funny. <laughs> that is funny. Uh, now the number of attachments. There are extra attachments. Remember that angular one that we'll talk about in the Amazon reviews? Get this one, no question, right? The 10 inch dial, patio, dri uh, driveway cleaner. And the conical tip. Conical tip. Uh, the, even the zero degree the tip, zero degree it's really tip. kind of fun to bore holes into things. It is fun. Jeez. And then the soap dispenser. Didn't think that we got it to work as we wanted it to, but that was our error, perhaps. Power and performance. What do we think about it? It's uh, rated at the 1900. It's a 1900 PSI, so that's... Uh, so as far as the power is concerned, how am I going to establish power? It's going to be based on what my need is, like a car. Do I need it to go a thousand horsepower? Go a thousand horses? I can tell no. you that what happened is whoever made this has decided, because most power washers are like this, 1900 is enough for a residential home. They've determined that 1900 is perfect for patios, perfect for cleaning, right, 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 right. perfect for cleaning. If it wasn't, it wouldn't be 1900. Yeah. I think more is too much. Anything less, not enough. Yeah, 1900 is perfect. The higher PSI is not something you necessarily need. Just no. like you don't need a Ferrari to get from A to B. This is getting you from A to B. It's clocked in at 1900 PSI. What did we have that we weren't able to clean? Nothing, except my dirty mouth. No, no there was nothing. <laughs> Everything came AR clean. As far as power and performance, I liked it. There was no hiccups. There was no seizing of the engine. There was no stutters. It's when we put it into a tub of water and we didn't have house pressure, it started to make a funny noise, but it was sucking water out of that. And that that was obviously an unnatural thing to do. We just wanted to see if it would work. And you've had it for a while. We for used sure. it a lot. Know, know, we've used this. We've used this. I mean, we had it on all day for yeah. a week. Yeah, we okay. used it as a doorstop. We used Everything. it as a paperweight. When I was contemplating what I wanted to do with my life, I actually sat this down by some candles and I prayed with it. But I had intimate relations with this. <laughs> Silly. Frosting. <laughs> Lover. Mobility once plugged in. I it was demonstrated that you usually put this in the middle between the uh, need 
for the outlets and then your project and then you have maximum reach. What is the total? It's a 30, 30 to 40 foot electrical extension and another 20 on the hose and then you can buy another 25. Click the link below. So we're talking like you got 100 feet and that's blasting right up next to it. Too. And I know you got a bunch of you uh, out there are golden agers, retired folk. Own your house, you like to do a lot of work. You, you got rental. Afraid that it's heavy, afraid homes. of this, but you know, we still want to get out in the yard and do your garden and all that kind of junk. I'm telling you, this is perfect for you. Speaking of garden, At most. you can do your seed holes with it. Fracking? Uh, the business of fracking. I found about three dollars and fifty cents in cans alone. <laughs> and I told you that's ten cents from that. Mobility, perfect. Durability, awesome. Oh, that's the next one. Oh, my. durability. What do we think about that? It's been tossed around. It's been beat up, and yeah, that's for four years. But I take we, care of it. We, but I take care of it because I'm putting you all. You did take care of it yeah. until we did this, sure. and then it's been moved around a lot. Yeah, but, it's but, all over. but the way in which it's wrapped up and the, and these don't bounce out and then chip, yeah. you know, because when these things come out, that's when they get crunched by something, and then your your tip doesn't work. So you heard him. <laughs> four years old. The yeah. only thing he's replaced is an O-ring, which is normal. Same wand. They came with it, same hose, no busted holes. Yeah. The same this, this hasn't even broken. This uh, is not broke, it works. This hose right here, is there's a kink in it? It's just the fibers on the inside. Yeah. Okay, operational issues. I think that addresses some of the other things that we just said, operational issues. No, it's dumb and easy. It's trigger operation, like you said. I, I think we forgot to mention too, yeah, it's just got that button, it's an on and off button. Yeah. It's simple, and when you're not using it, it's not loud, it's completely silent. Yeah, and remember hit the switch. I mean, that's just a little troubleshooting. You got a couple things to figure out. Absolutely. Yeah, now the skills needed to operate a unit of this magnitude. I would trust a kindergartner with this. Oh. No, I would not trust the kindergartner with that. Not with the zero tip. Not zero tip. Yeah, that, that there is, there's a flesh destroying function that you can switch it to. And don't do uh, the archaeological setting. He or she would have a lot of fun with his disc, though. A lot of fun. Play Frisbee, you'll see. Let's see what happens. But yeah, you don't need any set of skills. Unless you're Liam Neeson and you have a particular set of skills. Particular set of skills, and maybe you need to. And you need to get your daughter back. Shout out to you, and Liam Neeson. I love you. I love you. The night. You need to get your daughter back. Or you treat this like your daughter. You, you want to give it every opportunity to succeed in life. One minute this is under your bed. The next minute all She's that's gone. left is a half of a wand and the AR-383 is gone. This is when you use a particular set of skills. It's so stupid easy. Let's get rid of this beast. Let's take a walk around what we were able to accomplish with the AR-383. Seriously, guys, go get yourselves one. I'm telling you what, I'm not trying to sell this to you. Click the link below. Let's see what happens. I'm honestly telling you, it's going to save you so much time. And when you're with the crew, you click the links below. That's the way they all became. The Garth Vapor Horse. I mean Bunch. Bunch. And I can tell you one thing, no one pays us to do this. If we're doing a review on something, we use it. You know how this whole thing even came to be? I need to power wash my patio. And my I buddy's had a power washer. He used it. I and he was it. like, oh, let's I, review it. I knew I enjoyed it, but I saw the look on your face and you were kind of blown away. You were mystified. And if you, you were pay questioning attention, you go to those gas, outtakes electric. and all that stuff, you'll see why I enjoyed it because I power washed before. That blew my mind. Get one. I'm yeah, telling you. it blew my mind too. I've done some gas power washing. You don't need a hunky gas one, man. You don't. I mean, this you're dealing with so much junk. Simple. Yeah, this is simple. You know how you can't give a kid just an oven that's disconnected? Got you a gift. Here's an oven. No, the oven you give them is an easy bake oven. Cooks it's the right amount of food easy. that they need. It is. It yeah. is. So, I like it. But this isn't for kids because kids don't own homes unless you're Macaulay cooking. You got that kind of cash. Drop, drop, right. drop, drop that cash. Now check it out. If you guys were with us, you saw all the things that we were able to make brand new. We just didn't clean it, but after we cleaned it, we looked at it and went, well, now that it's clean and thought it was trash or garbage, we cleaned it with the AR-383. Now let's fix it up. We made all of this with the AR-383. Mm -hmm. We used the AR-383 to make this, all this by hand. Now, this was sitting around like garbage for yeah. years, it's yeah. rusted. But here's what we're able to do. Let me bring this into you. We painted this gold. We added some gold accents to the outside. Yeah, we put that, that high ultra heat stuff. Click the link below. We took out the rust, accented it. This no. thing is, I mean, it's brand new. I'm gonna sell it for a thousand dollars. I would buy that. One billion dollars. Okay. Next, you guys saw my ride here. This thing was trash, man. Trash. AR-383 cleaned it right up. I mean, it's, it's red now. I don't even know if it was red before. You have to let me know. We cleaned this up. You got out the gunk told, out the bottom, right? You said, I, gunk, go away. I don't like you anymore. And, when and you I was, said, take this, motherfucker. Yeah, when I was done, I knew ride. Yeah. How are the prospects out there on the field, huh, buddy? I told you I was riding into town. Okay, I met a lady. Uh, we are engaged. When I met her, she was on a weed eater. Weed whacker? Yeah, she had that thing spinning so fast. It's love. Oh, like the breakfast club. Like the breakfast club. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. I cleaned literally like five years of gunk on that. I mean, it was disgusting. Because springtime came, we had a lot of corn on the cobwebs. And, uh, mm, that smells good. Yeah, we made some corn on the cobwebs. 
Charlie and Chicos. Remember the grades we peeled? Are you gonna eat those? Mmm, I'm not a corny guy. I was trying to tell you guys how to make your garden bountiful. Beautiful. Bountiful. Beautiful. Bountiful. And use that AR-383 to bring out the life. Yeah. And the if, flowers. And I did that. If you if you want to plant the rose, you gotta be the rose. Brought to you by Garth Vapor AR-383. I have something to give my little lady. So roses are red, violets are blue. The AR-383 is blue, so I like violets, not roses. A poor bird's house. It was the raven's home. AR-383 the hell out of this thing. And we restored this birdhouse to like new condition. And you guys remember the bench we found? We restored this to like new condition. We cleaned up this rock. And you remember lesson 17. 17. You can say it with us. This, this shit's got a fucking can go. And underneath it, we got this hose reel. We cleaned that up. Let's get a better look at that. I'm gonna move the rock. Move that. Our most recent project, we turned a bench into kindling. See? Here, let's take out. a look inside. Oh, oh it's Mikey. Mike. Mikey likes it. Believe it or not, this was clean. Geology. Spiders. And you saw the 30 second cleaner challenge. Kick chemicals to the curb. Or throw them to the fence. Or throw them to the fence. You saw how my friend planted uh, new pumpkins. Start with a small pumpkin. You also saw me power wash off uh, those electronical components, peripheral devices, electronics technology. We introduced you to Pony. Oh, hi. Showed you a little technique on how to clean up Lego. We were able to find Pokeballs. And we saved you a world of time. We had the first annual international ramen challenge. Remember my boat? Choo choo! <laughs> See? And we showed you how to play frisbee with yourself. Oh! Good catch. See? We saved you a bunch of time. <laughs> Mike gave us the finger, told you about the O ring trick, where to get him, how to get him. Click the link below. And uh, how to lube him. And we brought uh, wildlife into your backyard. Splinter! See? And you remember our furry little friend? Oh, little Lucy the actress. We cleaned her up. We made her day happy. She's we gave her some arc exercise. Uh, now we'll give her the toss. One, two, three, four. I, I declare, declare a Garth Vapor War. We did uh, the AR-383. He saw all of our C business. C? 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 C. Section. He saw the C section. We did the overview and the conclusion about how the AR-383 really just I mean, I'm giving it uh, how many Garth Vapors out of 100? I'm going to give it 90 out of 100. And if you click the link below. Click the link below. Right now, we saw it at 116. Yeah. Without the deck washing ad adapter, the surface adapter. So 116, you can get this whole thing. So you're talking about $116. It went from 150 something and it dropped. So 116 is good. 116 is great. And if you want to get the 30 second cleaner, that's 10 bucks a bottle. It is. Right? So <clears throat> how many is that to buy the power washer? 20 or 30 if you can get if you get the attachments if you get 30 second cleaner there's about 150 for the deck it, washer it, it basically goes to included. the price as it was originally at 150. now you can get the the 10 inch dial now you can get but this isn't we're not like trying to sell this we're just like if somebody came up to me family or friend and said what would you recommend i have experience we have experience ar383 that's the one I would say to get. And if they were like, oh, I don't know about the AR-383, you'd be like, pick any one of those models because they're probably all really similar with a few different tweaks. Mm -hmm. You know, some yeah. of them got the little snap adapters and things every, like every, that. They've all got their own. You know what? I'll tell you, research it. But yeah. we tried to do the research for you. I would not try to sell you on something I went by myself. We did, obviously. No. Okay? No. And you're going to see some reviews that actually throw some shade, if you will. Can I say that? You can. They throw some shade on some other products. I mean, because we're here to be funny informative and get a crew with us with our own twist oh we got to twist the lime we're not boring people we're sick and twisted i can't sit here and talk to you let me tell you about the ar-383 but that is even good right there because that's the character that we play sometimes and my friend here he's, dude he's good at characters he's dropping lines it's funny hey i'd like to drop me some of that cocaine oh, I'm just, you don't want none of that cocaine do we and you're gonna find some of those outtakes actually on the back end of this go to it that's what we actually began with and tell me your favorite outtake by the way right that's how it started then it developed into the whole seat thing because we were seeing a vision with the garth vapor uh, clan the crew the herd whatever you want to call it that's I'll what see. i heard i just laid a turd so we're so just starting out this is the first video and so your guys's subscribes likes 
comments, hey, if you got nothing to say, drop a C in the bottom. If you drop, check this out, here's what I'm gonna do. I might be crazy. You are crazy. Call me crazy. You are crazy. Crazy is as crazy does. I wanna drop a, a whole bunch of those cinch clamps, those orange ones, for your cord to uh, a, a randomly selected few in the comments below to the subscribers that are subscribed. You, yeah, you have yeah. to be subscribed to be eligible. Yeah, for sure. Who wouldn't want some cinch clamps? You can use it for anything, dude. Hey, maybe in the bedroom. Now, here's where we get on another tangent. We're gonna run a review on cinch clamps, maybe because that's how it all starts, man. We get a crazy, kooky idea and then we run with it. We have a few kooky, crazy ideas. Dude, we call us the monsters. Dun, 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 dun. Just like the Breakfast Club. Just like they did in the movie The Breakfast Club. What, what did we not do with this that we wanted to right. do but didn't have time? We just have so many things going on. We're trying to build this from the ground up and we need your help. And we're putting our little toes out there in the water to see what you guys like and would be attracted to. Do you guys like reviews done in this way? With the likes and the subscribes and the merch shirts. Let's show you our shirts. <laughs> I got a shirt right here this that we, we created from scratch. I'm telling you right now. I told him straight up, I said, we need some Garth Faber shirts. And he says, I got you. Dude, I held him in my arms. He held me and he said, son, it'll be okay. Two in the hand is worth three in the bush. And three in the bucket means fuck it. If Kanye gets this in his Twitter feed or something like that and he gets this video, he may hit us up for this design. It's kind of badass. Okay. That's the design. So this is the Garth Vapor shirt you can buy for $29.99. No, I don't know how much it's gonna be. And no, it's not this shirt. This is a spray painted shirt. We don't have the funds. I got kids. Yeah, so you need to go to GarthVapor.com for the support. Find one of the shirts, buy it, give it to your friend, your family. Give it to us. We don't even have the Garth Vapor shirts. We're selling a shirt we don't own. We're putting it right back into Garth Vapor. Yeah, we're putting it back in we're the cake it back to bake. In the, it's not we're so I can live some lavish batter. lifestyle. I have another job. So we can live a little bit fatter. Live a little fatter. I am hungry. Hey, we're only trying to step one rung at a time up that ladder. I got smooth skin. I'm looking for a tit a tata. If, if you I know pop anybody the zit, will you get a splatter? I, yes, I will. <laughs> <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. No. So what does matter <laughs> is that support. Uh, you guys know how YouTube and all this stuff works. We need the support. We see the surge. We make more badass videos. We go funnier. We go harder. We go bigger. What didn't we accomplish? Power washing joust. Oh, power washing joust. Just imagine that. Two people on tandem bicycles going cross like that with the power washer behind, all hose connected and everything. Mm -hmm. You know, and you have one try. Uh, the person who stars in that is Heath Ledger. And uh, Queen will be our uh, backdrop music. Yeah. But imagine that, tandem bike, two teams, all decked out looking like knights. We do it at night, uh, black light to illuminate the battle area. We put those uh, LEDs all over the bike and the liquid, we use coolant. So when it sprays, the black light illuminates the coolant and we can see who got hit and jousted But again, hardest. this is up to you. Shuffleboard power washing. So you throw the drone up and uh, you get turns at uh, shooting frisbees and uh, you make the chalk lines with uh, somebody on the back of a tandem bike doing the chalk lines so you can get a real long, I don't know. We're just fleshing out all these ideas. Another one was mini power washer. Wouldn't that be funny? This job doesn't require the AR-383. Let's use its little buddy. You know how we got the AR-383? We used the small pumpkin planting technique and we planted a small power washer. Yes, we did. And that's how the AR-383 came to be. We got ideas, but at the same time, this is a feeler. This was a crazy event. You may have heard of it called the Skulls. Grandfather, do tell. Power washing volleyball. Yeah. You want to spray off your kids, your family, it's hot summer day, use that 10 inch dial. And another thing we're going to review is glow in the dark flashlights. Check this out. Shh, don't tell anybody. Look how that thing glows. It's glowing in the dark. Or patting in it. Yeah, so stay tuned for that video. So we've got so much uh, that we want to put out, but we need to know that there's that response to do it so we can make the time for it and quit our jobs and become rich and famous and live on yachts and, you know, maybe t-paint our voice all day long you can't buy a shirt fine throw your support with words and you can't buy love either can't buy me love. Words. Mm. keep it solid keep it real you guys are doing a good job thanks that's good enough for me man that's like paying me yeah. here's the ultimate game ultimate reason why we're doing this we're both single fathers we have kids it's true. okay stuff is rough this world is not built for single parents trying to raise kids especially multiple kids i've got one child he's got two children show them that you can do anything that you want to do so it's like this is a dream and we want to try to succeed in this and that all comes with your guys' help right that's the success absolutely right to see if we can sustain right because we can't just do this and otherwise they'd be home videos right that's you, the best part you is, guys can see uh, our home videos following your dreams yeah isn't that what life's all about hey lover hi perfect <laughs> strangers hi hi oh, oh hello oh. Oh. hi it's good to know you oh hi <laughs> people say you know oh you can finish my words 
he breathes for me. Um, I, I do the shake. It's the shake twice if you're playing with it. And but he if you shake twice burn. and then he shakes three times, I'm not playing with it. He is. <laughs> so, <laughs> and really, we end up, you know, getting all wet in the bathroom and having it's, a lot of it's fun. A and then we'll power wash out with the AR-383. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can clean out your bathroom. Urinals. This is a dream. Fail or not, and this he, is what we do. And, and the way in which you can help, oh, please, the way. Those Amazon links, do that if you want, if you like the product. Buy through yeah, If you like the product and you know you're going to get the product. Click on the link. Click the link below. It helps us out. Costs you nothing. Amazon just says, hey, thank you for leading a customer through the door. And that's basically what we did. When we reviewed it, we let a customer through the door. We put it through the grinder. And, uh, you know, a lot of people are doing unboxing videos, which are cool or whatever. But that's you just initially see it. And you don't know if the panel's going to fall off like two days into it or something. Here's another idea. And we kind of want to run it by you, too, is... That AR 383 when you bought it was 150, right? Uh, about 150. Yeah. Okay. I bet you guys out there anything we can make that back in one day. Ooh, this is another idea. We're gonna take that AR 383 out into our local neighborhood, go door to door, do jobs for people with the AR 383, and see if we can make our money yeah. back. Yeah. So we're gonna meet a bunch of crazy people, perhaps. Mm -hmm. We hope for the crazy. We're going to do a good deed unto those. I mean, we're not gonna, and I'm not gonna charge lie, them too and much. I'm not gonna lie to you. Once we get the 150, the 150 goes in his pocket. Ooh, it goes After in our that, pockets. the money afterwards goes to donations. Oh, yeah. Throw us out some donations. I don't care if it's Boys and Girls Club, Feeding the Homeless, uh, AIDS Research. Could, anything, could the anything, comments illuminate good. as to where we will distribute that money maybe or you can even put a comment in below and say hey i want you to distribute the money in this weird way hey stick the money in a in a subway sandwich and give it to a homeless person or something like that and then they're eating it and they're like i'm like what'd you just do we might and they're we, like we, they're we, like oh i ate the sandwich that you gave me and i'm like no dude there was a thousand dollars in there that was a thousand dollar sandwich he's gonna give the homeless person money and i'm gonna come around because he doesn't want on there i'm gonna beat up the homeless <laughs> money and take it back okay. i'm gonna find out he is the homeless person <laughs> in my way another idea we take whatever money's left put in some capsule hide mm -hmm. it in our home city okay and uh put it online come find us maybe come put a geocaching it. coordination that would be cool system. too we're just free bowling right here because these are the ideas that we have that we normally just talk about amongst ourselves Absolutely. right on a piece of paper and do or don't do but with support we're like let's get to those ideas and the idea for this is that and we're telling you that we can take this out and go make money oh yeah it's a great business for your kid oh like the lawn mowing business kid gets the lawn mower and then they start making who doesn't want to have their driveway power wash during the summer who before fourth of july wants their patio power wash once you make your money back isn't it isn't it doesn't guaranteed it, not it's, to be it, whacked. It's all good. With and a one-year bumper-to-bumper warranty, it doesn't say you can only use it five times. Right. You can use it a billion times yeah, in one year, year, and then sure. boom, psh, go get a new one. Yeah. Some other things that we're trying to bring into the mix that we think you guys might like. We've done one video, Garth Vapors Capers. We did some cave spelunking, a little shooting practice, a little trip down to Medford. But it was fun. It was fun. There's some hilarious moments. We want to bring you guys on a very unique adventure with the way in which we interact with the matter and with uh, life. Spin as the earth has its own spin. We're spinning. We get sometimes, head spinning. Sometimes we spin that way. Depends on what hemisphere I'm on. Hey, geology. Oh, <laughs> meteorology. <laughs> just. We want to go on a lot of more adventures. Crater Lake, the Redwood Forest. We meet kooky people. We go Sasquatch hunting. I don't know what we're going to get up to, but if you guys want to see that, you got to stay tuned. Hit those comments below. Next. And you guys I have cool products and cool things that you do. Drop us a little comment down there. Say, this is a dope tool. Buy it. We'll buy it. We'll review it and we'll go goofy on it if we need to. Yeah. Until they tell us what we want to hear. The secrets that they're hiding, we get so goofy on those motherfuckers. Now we're going back to honesty. 100% I would never tell somebody about a product and try to get them to buy it because I get money. I see the incentive. That's not the operation. The operation is if you're 100% honest with all the quirks and the kinks and the goods and the bads and the sucks and the cons and the pros and the tips and the tricks. If you're just 100% honest, people just want that information. I want that information. So I'm not going to talk to you that way. And right. this guy has power washing experience. I do. So one of the things you may be thinking is, oh, I don't know, $150? I just need my patio cleaned off. How much does a plot of land run to power wash? The average power washing job that I ever did, and I did this for 15 years, was about 300 bucks. Two ARs, dude. And the company I worked for got the high-end Home Depot power washer, which was like $9.99. Okay, gas powered. Okay, gas powered. Thousand bucks. I'm telling you, that company went through at least 10 power washers, always being fixed. Something always went wrong with the oil. Something always went wrong with the gas. Something always went wrong with the wheels. Uh, hoses were bursting. Uh, nuts and bolts were getting loose. So small engine repair. It's and heavy as hell. And mechanics, you even for small engines, are expensive, right? Oh, it is. I mean, they're just like car mechanics. Because you're, you, it is. Seventy to hundred dollars. It's just like working on your car. Yeah, I've got an Echo Hedger, and I remember trying to hedge. Wouldn't work. 
I had to pay like 70 bucks to get it checked out. So like I told you, I know I can do a job with this and make my money back. We're here having fun. We want, it's more of an experiment, probably two, three houses and, we, yeah. and it's done, dude. I mean, we just, and because we want to help people out too. You know? Yeah, we'll give, give their animals some exercise or maybe we'll spray down their kids because it's a hot day and that's another great tool for this. If you're at a party and you use a surface cleaner, a wide area of mist. It's just a great way to have a good, like uh, we did that at a birthday party. I'll show you a clip right now. Okay, we're back. Show you a clip right now. And there's definitely, uh, like I said, the support. I know you have six steps to the support system for us. Uh, what sure, six steps? Sure, I want you to say them first because... Like. Oh, right, yeah. If you want to support us, us, the channel, or just support in general, if you can go through the Amazon links and buy the product. Click the link below. Or not buy the products. That's cool. That's you know, you can step even, number one. You can one. even click the link and go, you know what, I don't want that. But there's other things on Amazon that I like. Sure. Hey, I don't like the power washer, but the fix Vapor Rub, that reminds me. I, oh, I, I need, need some, to subscribe to I that. I need some toilet paper. Yeah, so running through Amazon, very helpful to us. Mm -hmm. It shows us you care. We can see the numbers. That's one way. Another way, which is a lot cheaper, is liking, subscribing, and hitting the notification bell for future videos. We don't put out a lot of videos. Not only does that tell us that you're watching, but it tells YouTube that you're watching too. Right, you can see more of us. When you support, you can see more. What's another way you can do it? Drop comments below, like see, see, see. Maybe you'll win one of some of these. How how would they win one of those? Well, what, what, what's, what, throw out a number. So, I've got a whole bunch of these, and I'm gonna give them all away if we can reach 3,000 subscribers. If I we think can, that can be done. That's, uh, that's that's such a low number, but okay. I don't know. Okay. I think the underbelly of the society is about to bubble up to the top. Kilauea. Bubble up from the underground and take over the earth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And One when public we, road at well, a time. Yeah. And then, we'll, and then we'll throw you out a cinch thing. Become a volcano and we'll throw you out uh, a little cinch system. <laughs> be a volcano and help us blow up. Right. Hmm. Hey, I like that. Yeah. Be the tectonic plates and shift our life for the better. What else we got? If we can get three thousand subscribers and I don't care in what time frame maybe 10 to 15 lucky subscribers who comment below and mention the cinch or don't mention the cinch and just say something else they get a cinch clamp and check it out we like doing what we're doing give us some hints toward maybe what, what are we doing something wrong we're not doing something right I, yeah, yeah I don't yeah. mind changing we know we're gonna get some hate oh, of we course. know and if we're not doing it uh, right if you're not getting any we hate, won't get the hate. We, if we're not getting any kind of hate yeah man, hey, we're and, not we're doing something right and then. there's nothing you can say that's gonna uh, uh, offend us just leave it out of the comments i mean as a good human and a good there citizen, really is nothing you can say uh we have that kids, we haven't already said and, ourselves uh, Believe me, I'm not cool. Yeah. I get told that constantly. When we look at the raw I'm footage, not funny. All, all you YouTube people and anybody who looks at home videos and you look at some of that raw footage, you're just like, I, oh, my voice sucks. I hate the way I act. And then once you get over that hump, so we've already torn ourselves You'll apart. You'll definitely see that I'm thinning and that I don't like to <laughs> shave. I'm not gonna yeah. lie to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's a good learning and a good, good growing mm -hmm. experience. And so we've already hated on ourselves enough, and we're over it. And now we're uh, in front of the eight ball. As so a struggling speak. father, you'll see that I also bleached my brand new pair of Alpha Bounce shoes, which really pissed me off. To be honest, um, I worked my ass off you 30 to afford those them. shoes. To be honest with you, um, so I'm pretty pissed off about that because I don't ever buy myself shoes. So, so he's running around with no shoes, man. So we're gonna do I'm, a I'm review walking, I'm walking on how to recycle bleep, a tire. Shoes. I'm doing bleach shoes, man. Hey, <laughs> you're the village, and it takes a village to raise a Garth Vapor, okay? So you could be maybe the Garth Vapor village. Yeah, oh, the Garth Vapor village. Oh, I like that. That's that alliteration we were talking about. Yeah. VV. Yeah. Then this is our child. Yeah. But without you, we don't have. We have. You, this, you're our foster parents. Then, yeah. <laughs> Will you be Dad? my godfather? Mom? Dad? <laughs> Yeah, we're really just trying to find our parents. Send us money, please. We're broke. We we have that Garth Vapor shirt we share. I only get a cup of soup every now and again. But I appreciate all your guys' comments and uh, yeah, and try to work on the hate. But I understand there's gonna be some of you out there that are like, eh, hey, drop the hate. We'll just delete the comments. You guys are f bomb this. It's the way it is. 
Yeah, yeah. It's not like oh. I don't get that in everyday life. We'll yeah. just meet the crap out of you. Collaborate? You guys want to collaborate? Drop a line below. Uh, we can Skype. This is all I got. Do, I mean, we can figure something out to we'll where we can work something out, out together. Uh, Drop a good I'm idea. I'm all down with a good road trip. You know what I mean? We'll just get the on the old lawnmower. Okay, we'll the old Betsy. That. We'll have your wife sit in back or push. She'll push. I'll sit on your lap. And we'll, and we'll get to mowing the pathway to success. Yeah. Help us mow life's yard. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's fertilize each other together. Because it takes a village to make a village. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to oh, make a village. Okay, ready? Now, if we perhaps, I'm wishing upon a star. If we, and now I'll tell you my secret, my secret wish. If we perhaps get to 10,000 subscribers, that AR-383, I'm gonna just hawk it in a box and ship it to whoever, randomly selected from below. The winner can tell us what you want us to do with it. Yeah, and I mean, we'll do it. Even if that's, uh, I mean, heck dude, the 10,000 subscriber, that's pretty big. Ooh, I know, that's so a big So I'm leap. like, man, I would even be willing to say, you tell us where you want us to be, <laughs> and we'll power wash your shit. <laughs> and we'll be there in leotards or pantyhose or whatever your, your fetish is. We'll be is. there in full character. <laughs> we'll power wash the hell out of everything in your yard, including and not, not including, dirt, siding, bikes, food, okay? Your hair. Dogs. I would love to see him walk out sudsy, and I want to wash him. The R383 <laughs> with the full fan right. can wash you. Actually like that hand-on-hand -hand contact, maybe with the wash mat. And we're gonna do baptisms with it. We can wash away the sin with the 10 inch disc. <laughs> Click the link below. <laughs> To put a little Trixie on the flipsy, it's going into a giant wine barrel. I've turned water into wine. And as you guys can see, we're full of ideas. Did I just hear someone like and subscribe? Thank you. Another way you can support, go to GarthVapor.com. Grab those t-shirts. We're gonna put out more. We've got two t-shirts. We got the Garth Vapor with the logo looking all tight and fancy. Then we've got our two goofy asses going, see? see? Yeah. And I'll tell you what, I don't know how much other shirt's going for. Uh, I don't know what we're going to price them at. Uh, I don't know what's acceptable. I don't know how you even make money on the whole thing. And I'll tell you what. We definitely don't want to make them like $50. No, and if you like the shirt that he popped up, Ooh, I'll we have can to auction deal with that it. one off. I'll deal, I'll deal, I'll, that I'll, could actually be the design. Yeah, we'll talk about it, and I'll uh, be like, hey, you pay a little bit extra probably, and I'll spray paint one for you. I'll send it to you personally, but I'd, I have no problem making you a homemade Garth Vapor design Ooh. and sending it to you. I'm thinking, I don't know, $20, $24, something like that. I'm like, a hoodie guy, so hopefully there will be some hoodies on there eventually, maybe a beanie or two. A doctor's coffee mugs who deliver babies and you can have our dumb faces on the coffee mug going see and then section right we might have that get that for your gynecologist so we totally thank you and i thank this motherfucker i thank him for he brought me into this for world. for <laughs> i just wanted i to, birthed him i just i just wanted to uh, power wash the patio yeah and it did. I have, I have other projects I work on with him, and he brought this out, and he's like, Power let's do this. The, stay tuned. What we have is we've got those Amazon reviews on the back end of this. we got those outtakes on the back end of this. And what's our tagline? How do we see you out of here? How do we get out of here? What's our tagline? Garth Vapor. Stay, stay misty. Yeah. Thunder Vape. Garth Vapor out. No? Okay. Garth Vapor, neighbor. <laughs> yeah, so we're going with uh, potentially Garth Vapor Village. But and, hey, uh, let us know. Because, you know, we need to raise a kid together this is our baby you own a kid now and obviously since it's not technically like both of our kids because i didn't give birth to this we're having a really hard time getting yeah. public assistance <laughs> i think so. it looks a lot like me yeah <laughs> it's got my it's nose. got his hair uh, yeah so whatever our outro is that's where we're going to insert it right now right. and we'll develop that later garth vapor village we're out we'll go right there Okay, Taylor's not. So what are we getting ready to do? We're getting ready to uh, tie up this old Christmas tree, apparently. Well, it's ready for April. Halloween. What spookier thing than that? Uh, how about Halloween and no candy? Uh, Halloween and no candy? Oh, yeah. Wow, just... first time. <laughs> Look, that was Michael Jordan-esque. Hee hee. She she. He's a she she. It's the post Christmas <laughs> Halloween pinata. I spy a kink in the king's armor. <laughs> mom, mom. Oh. <laughs> That was just to test their ability and strength. Another tooth and board. I'm like, what are all these holes there? Why is the, why is the wood so brittle? Uh, it's termite. Okay. Hey, that's a chiminea. Chiminea. I know we need to fix that. Hey, if I she if I point that. if she I point something that. out, you fucking point okay, that. Point at it again. Point it again. Hey, look, it's a chiminea. <laughs> <laughs> look, it's a chiminea. And we're gonna fix that. You know what's wrong with it? Right here. That, that thing broke. Oh, that's it. dude, I didn't even that's know. A, I thought that, that was a... No, that's a simple artisanal. fix. That actually makes it look more like an artifact, and I'd pay more for it if you labeled it artifact.
We should do that. <laughs> and say they're from the Jade Empire. Yeah, let's say they're, <laughs> let's just say they're <laughs> the, old. The, the, the General Tso's Chicken Empire. No, no. Old Christmas tree hanging in another tree. See? See? Got some rust dots. Oh, I didn't say go. Okay, go. Go. So we have some rust spots, obviously, in the corner here. The, we got a bunch of rust spots yeah. there. What did we put right there? WD-40. Oh, okay, let me try that again. WD-40. Oh, okay. Ah, come on. Ah. Oh, did we? Oh, I'm just going to use products that we have around the house that I think might do something. This apple cider vinegar. Freaking disgusting. I took a drink of it. Thought it was the wrong thing. Take a drink of it now. Hell no. Take a drink of it now. Hell no. Take a drink of it now. Hell no. Hell no. Take a drink of it now. No. How long has it been open? I'll do it. No, dude. No, dude. No, dude. You, you, you remember my face last time I took a drink of this thing? I'm a that? real friend to you, aren't you I? Don't want no, dude. <laughs> I'm a real friend, you guys. No, dude. So I'm just gonna pour it on one. We're not gonna power wash this. So Point to it. Around three. Which one are we doing? I'm gonna do this L right here. I can smell that from here. Yeah. Okay? So I'm gonna do this L right here. And I'm just gonna leave it right there. It's gonna sit for a little while, less than 24 hours, but it's gonna sit nonetheless. I wanna see if some of this stuff will actually work. I'm gonna agitate it. There, <laughs> you see all the bubbles? What if we made yeah, volcanoes saw, here? Huh? You know where a vinegar processing plant is and a baking soda or baking powder plant is? Uh, they have a higher incidence of volcanoes. Where? What's that? Dawn dish soap. That's not toxic blue. That's a toxic flu. That's a toxic It turns blue because it's cleaning itself inside. Blue means clean. Oh, and that actually goes with our blue clean AR383. I'm gonna pour this on this one. And I'm just gonna let it chill there. See what happens. Like I said, I'll leave the bottle here so I know exactly what I put there. Yeah, we got dub D, we got D, and we got these nuts. What are the I mean, <laughs> What the guy, ACV. On? 409. Is that 409? It's a bottle of diluted 409 at the proper specifications. Look, I'll drink that. Would you? Bear grills it. Bear grills it. That was gonna contaminate the other. Okay. 409. That's 409. Let's do this one. We're gonna use McGuire's Deep Crystal. Bear grills it. The fun to use car wash with long lasting sudsing action. It safely removes loose dirt and contaminants, preserves wax protection. Let's do this spot right here. Yeah. I want to make sure that it's not going to spill over. Contaminate. So I had another idea. I don't know. I'm a dude. I don't know how to clean. This is like an old mom's thing, I guess. Mom. Wasn't there some kind of thing where like people cleaned with baking soda? Oh, mixed like, it up together. Like your teeth. And put it on something. Would that do something? Maybe. Sure. Hey, I've out. seen teeth that actually have staining at this level. But check it out. If you look at your teeth microscopically, don't they have, isn't it porous? Yeah, uh, yes. It's a tissue. There we go. Teeth is a tissue. Did we not so know that? Baking soda can clean porous teeth. Can it, pour, can it clean rusty concrete? Oh, you huck this at their face and maybe they won't want soda anymore. Yeah, they, so usually in baking soda, I have a can of Sprite and I'm baking with it. Wrong, it's the box thing. You know what baking with Hoda is? <laughs> what? what is that? <laughs> it's when Kathy Lee and get drunk and bake at the same oh. time, they do that all the time. <laughs> that was like a Star Wars thing. Baking with Hoda. <laughs> Baking with jojoba. Yeah. <laughs> Baking with hoda. I think it's the fact that it's gritty. Pour some on my hand, please, sir. Just a, just a smidge so I can snort. I'm thinking maybe I'd like to try me some of that cocaine. Just a little bit. Ooh, that's just a, rock. a, a line's that's worth. A rock. Tell me how you feel. Is that gritty? You know what it feels like? Sandy? Like really it fine sand. Fine sand, like a fine powder. Okay. Fine, fine powder sand. So it's probably the abrasive action so of. I'll do that. And I'm just gonna add some water. I don't know how much to add. I just heard this. And it could also be the pH or alkalinity out. to help, you know, neutralize this, that, or the other. And so I don't yeah, create a great I'm smile. Exactly sure, so I'm just gonna do it until I create a paste. And it's, I don't know, man. And then just to feel more like a witch, you might wanna put some. Uh... Oh, hair of dog. We have a dog. Lucy. Here we go. <laughs> Hair of dog for sure. Oh god, that's gross. <laughs> <laughs> it's, that's that's disgusting. God, if we find out that the hair of Lucy and some baking soda is what takes off rust on concrete, we're rich. We're rich. It's gonna be called dog foam. I don't know how much I added. I just added a bunch of baking soda until it felt almost like almost like glue. Huh. It's viscous. I'm gonna go <laughs> get that hair in there. <laughs> You're gonna wanna add 
one of organic organic tea. You want that right <laughs> in the middle there, and then you want to cover that. Oh, it needs to steep. Yeah. <laughs> it needs to steep, okay? You'll find this online. Twinkings. <laughs> oh, janky lord. Jankies. So I'm going to leave this here. Twinkles. I have a feeling that's going to look pretty freaking weird in the morning. So this looks pretty freaking weird. Hard hair on the, on the spoon. That's big. I don't know what that is now. That probably wasn't a good idea. Hair, hair. Hair of dog. It looks like, you know, it's, oh my God. Oh, what's happening right there? That's the hair of the dog spreading. Oh, this is the, uh, it's working. That means it's working. Oh, by the way, hypothetically hey, look thinking. Hey, look into the camera. Hypothetically thinking. Otherwise they think you have a gazing problem. <laughs> I have a wandering eye of Kim. With the WD-40, what I heard was if anywhere you spray a, a hydrocarbon, a petroleum product, gas, WD-40, these types of things, insects flee. I'm oddly attracted to the vapors from a gas, the benzene. It's all about the benzenes, baby. <laughs> I think that's enough. Oh, hi. We're gonna check this out. These are all the products we used. Baking soda, Dawn, apple Let's cider. Say it faster, Dawn. let's get you going. We've got- Twinkies. Twinkies, baking soda, Dawn, apple cider, car wash, uh, blue stuff. 409, 409. 409, 409. There we go. Twinkies, baking soda, <laughs> Dawn, apple cider, vinegar, car wash, 409, GoPro. What? GoPro? We're gonna put the GoPro on the wand. What are these? We have our wash extensions that you're gonna get with the product. Obviously you get a gun, okay? <laughs> That's the way it is. Okay, no background required. With no you get the gun, okay? No license. This thing right here. Okay, cool stuff. <laughs> That's how okay. it works. This right here, it's you know simply what? how it works. This is the one I'm actually gonna use because this one allows me to fan out, fan in. Very easy. <laughs> this one right here. What did Mr. Miyagi say? Like Mr. Miyagi says, fan on, fan <laughs> off. Uh. Oh yeah, I see it. Uh, so when it's wide, it's a straight beam or is it a fan? I don't know. Okay, we're gonna we'll find that out. We're gonna find that out. And then this other one over here is a conical uh, shape and it uh, agitates. Yeah, <laughs> it goes around like that uh, in a circular pattern. So uh, it, it can clean a wide area, but also a random area. So you're not creating these hard lines that, that you need to feather. And we'll talk about feathering when it comes to turkey time. Right. So what are these? These are your attachments. Those are adapters, get, man. To get from the house water. So right. let's go to the house water. Well, That's the first thing. Okay. Because this right here is where you plug in the hose, but you can't. Why can't you? No, that's you where you adapter. plug in the wand, you dumb dumb. No. No. The adapter goes right into no, here. It doesn't. I love it though. No, no, this guy goes into the front. Here, spin it around. I told you. So it goes right here, <laughs> right in the front. See? Right that's there. That's where it goes. Told ya. Now this is basically uh, taking the hose water in here. There's a filter. This plastic is uber cheap. So make sure not to break it or step on it or something or you'll be leaking out every orifice. I mean the machine. <laughs> oh, right. And then this will actually be screwed onto the hose. Hey, I love you. I love you too. Go around the thing. Squeak, 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 squeak. And nice and tight. Where is it going? Oh. Oh, hey, over here. Oh, did you find it? Found it. And that adapter I got at Home Depot because the one I was using broke. We can try that adapter. We can try that adapter. We're going to try them all. They're all probably going to leak. It's water. It's going to just stream out. This is attached to the front of our AR383. And when See you, how you do this? Click, and that's the trick. Oh, yeah. click, 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 click. That's... We have the wand hose. <laughs> the wand the hose, hose that connects to the wand or gun. Nope, goes in here somewhere, doesn't it? Uh, sir. Okay, this one with the threads. And due to tight space restrictions, it's not as easy as it sounds. So you want to spin until you uh, righty tighty lefty loosey. You get tired, nice right. and tight. Perfect. Well, this is what I call a missed connection. Okay, and I found it. Okay. Strictly platonic. Easy. <laughs> Sorry, I just hit you in the head. You did. I don't know what to do here. What am I doing? It's... I think you just force it in like. Yeah, you do. Day. Boom. You hear that? Okay, that done. Click. Good to go. Now, just start power washing. Watch, guys. Let's put on an attachment first. Oh, now it's ready. Oh, <laughs> now it's... oh hi. Oh. <laughs> so I'm back. Got the wand. It's connected. It's connected. I need to be connected here. Little little, little things here. Little plastic -y things. Does it go in there? Little things right here. That's pretty much where they're going to go. Notched and grooved. Shove it in. Okay. You can see the divots right there. Little grooves that needs to follow. It's a put it all the way down and spin. That's how it locks. In there. Push down, 
spin. You might want to put some Vaseline if it's too sticky. And what attachment do we have here? I call it the feather. Oh. There you go. Doom. All right, let's Doom. put this thing to work. Doom. Oh. There you go. Doom. Doom. Okay. All right, and then we're gonna plug this in now. It's a two-prong connection with a ground fault interrupter. I don't think it's recommended to be running along a, an extension wire like this, but we're gonna give it a shot because, you know, who would we be if we weren't exploring the world of electricity? All right, there's a reset and a test there. Let's go ahead and plug that in. It's connected. Before you run the engine and turn it on, uh, you wanna make sure you have power to the cord that you just plugged in because this isn't going. Maybe let's hit the reset test button. Test button. Oh, there we go. Now you don't want to run this engine without the water because the water is going to be what's cooling the engine and once this gets enough pressure it'll shut off the motor. Turn on the water. Pressure coming down on me. Squeak, 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 squeak. Okay. What do we have leaking right there? Oh wow, oh god. Looks like what's leaking is coming from the actual hose. Yeah, it's between that adapter and the hose. We'll just leave it because everything's going to get wet anyways. Let's get to blasting. Okay. So we'll go ahead and turn that on. Oh, so that popped out. So I didn't do it right. It spins right down here. You can make it horizontal or you can make it uh, vertical. So right now we're wide fanned. Let's see what that does. So the wide puts out the pinpoint. Yeah, when you clamp it down. All right, let's see what this, this does. There we go. That's just ear bubbles coming out. All right, guys, first things first, apple cider, got to go. Hey, there you go. All right. It left the stain. Good. I mean, I don't, I don't recommend any of this stuff. Probably an absolute fail, wouldn't you well, say? I'm gonna kneel down like I just discovered the new world. This is my musket. Worked pretty hard yesterday, power washing this whole porch. And all that was there was rust stains. <laughs> okay, I swear to God. Now there's freaking art. I had no idea that Dawn would have a permanent stain. That's Dawn. There's a blue ring of death right there. It's terrible. You know what this is? That's that rust spray. <laughs> oh, it neutralized it. Yeah, back, yeah that it? neutralized it, all right? It looks like a big... That zit. We didn't pop it. It cleaned nothing. But you like the you like the overall uh, device. Oh, the device worked like a charm. Now we have to explain this to the old lady. Might have to find a new place to live. Yeah. So, bounce. in case like you're both down. Sides. Yeah. Okay, kill the music. I've got the conical tip. We're gonna attach that. We're gonna attack that sidewalk over there. One, okay. two, three, okay. easy. Damn, finish the job. <sighs> a, little, a little rough getting out. <sighs> a little hard going in. That is some. So this is some crazy stuff there. This is really an AR-383 now. It's living up to its name. Assault. Aquatic rifle, <laughs> uh, concrete cleaner. Uh, dang. Yeah. I'm That's pretty sweet. Right, I like right, that. That's this. pretty damn dang. Cool, man. Dang. Blast away. Let's blast. Do that. That's nice. Dang. That's nice right there. There we there go. We go. Now we're gonna connect uh, this wide area dual head adapter for large areas. It's got a brush. Let's see how this works. Disconnected. Dang. Again, Vaseline lubricant may be helpful in that situation. Or, you know, see what I mean? Dang. So that's not connected. I think it's missing an O-ring or some type or something. You think, yeah. Like this O-ring right here. What are the chances I can get it off? Dang. Well, at this point in time, I've done many of my own, so you'd want to probably use needle nose pliers. <laughs> or phenomenal fingernail strength. Dang! Was it the O-ring? Let's put it on this one. This may be where a problem occurs, right? Because fatigue. I believe so. I have fingernail fatigue. You have the nails of a homeless man. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it. Right, let's check it out. Oh, there we go. Dang! Dang! 
uh, wash the kids off with it. Dang. Ah, uh, that's a problem. So maybe maybe you gotta pull and not push. Let's see. That's probably the key there. Dang. It's a it's a pulling method, not a pushing method. That seems to work best. So look how evenly it actually cleans it. Mm -hmm. I don't know about the depth of the cleaning, but that'll be revealed in sunrise. Dang. Roll it up. You're done. Hi right, guys. You're done power washing. You need to have a little more fun. Long range. Done. I want to see you do it. Actually, it's a lot of fun. Dang. Be honest with you. Yeah. Draw. Elliot Ness, you'll never get me. And that's the power of the Gatling Dang. gun. I hit Pac-Man in all in all the sensitive areas. Got this over here. Dang. <laughs> that's <laughs> like a all torn down. Mach one tornado. What do they call it? Class F one. F one tornado. They call F2. that a uh, class air blue. <laughs> squeak, squeak, squeak. Dang. It's a little adapter. Dang. Don't want that to break off. It's kind of a poor design to have it out there, but so vital to the task at hand. So I'll pocket that. Dissing. Dang. <laughs> All those wires. Hoses. Yeah, so this is the bummer with uh, electric. You gotta, you're gonna have a bunch of wires. Whereas with the gas, you're not. You're gonna be mobile minus the hose. You're, you're just gonna have your hose tethering you to the house. How easy is that to, to wrap up? I don't know. It, uh, you'd have to like funnel it through here and maybe that's actually for the uh, hose right there. So I think that'd be cool for a while. After a while, it's just a pain. Yeah, it becomes more of a pain to actually put things away. I just want to wrap it up and go. You can see the idea, you just connect it on. And this rack system is pretty weak. Completely disengaged so there you go. You could just drop it over the top like that. But now there's going to be water within this hose. So just so everybody knows. And there's a weird, twisty, flippy game with <laughs> these hoses. Dang. And I think, I don't know what the proper way is, but... That's how I do it. Like this? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this wanted a twist like a snake. Yeah. I thought it was alive. Check that out. So now we're all connected in there. We can drop it over the top. Perfect. Okay. See, that's not bad. Dang. And if you just did a little bungee strap, make sure you don't get swapped in the eye. But if you had a bungee strap, you just keep all this a little yeah. tight. No reason why you can't be too careful. And then can that go in there? Sure, bungee strap it up, dude, and you're good to go. Remember that piece? Mm -hmm. This is where design comes in to play. Where do they expect me to put this? Just leave it in my pocket, in my glove box? What, do I order five at a time so I can keep them in my, you know, my lingerie drawer, my intimates, and my petite uh, delectables? <laughs> <laughs> if you could find a better solution to get this to stay with the device without screwing it into the front right. and risking the crunch mm -hmm. inevitably. I like the device. Kimbert likes the device. I do, I do. I think it's well worth uh, the money. I think you'll definitely get more out of it than you've spent. My thing's broken. No, these it's not. damn. Boom. Boom. This has been in operation for three or four years. Dang. To five years. Dang. To six years. Dang. So it's a two to six year span Dang. that this has been op in operation. And it's still going strong. And it's still it going great. Right. I've really... not had any issues. It does require a lot of power. So if you've got a lot of things plugged into one thing, you know, you're going to chip some switches. Dang. This is now the best organizational uh, layout we know of. It's going to tell you in the manual. Where yeah. everything goes. Yeah, and okay. customizing usually is the best trick. Because if I wanted to continue to th waste my life threading it through this little pulley system, and you know the pulley system is going to go out and dead, and then you're like, I can't get it out, or I can't get it. I mean, wrapping it over the top is one of the best ways I can think of. Bungee strapping around the sides, doing whatever you want to do here. Don't forget that clear piece, and you're good to go. Yeah. Get a water source. Okay. Neighbor's yard. It's all compact, light, right. and easy. It is. Check it out. Watch. Very simple. Watch. Set it down nice and easy. Check it out. Yeah. Now, look at this. All those all those little parts we were talking about. We can just throw them in the bin. Mm-hmm. And you can even do this right here. Now you have everything you use in one tote. Click the link. If you don't have the headroom in the car, you can go low profile and lay it on its front, throw everything in, toss it in the truck, 
See you later. And the uh, quote of the day is, give it to me raw. Give it to me raw. No, no, no. The quote of the day is, oh, if it's not blue, it's not for you. Time for a cleanse. What I've been saying is let's go ahead and lube all this up. What do we have? We got medicated chest rub. See? See? So we've lubed that up. Putting a little Vaseline right there is actually, oh, wow. Oh. Let's check it out. We don't have an O-ring there. We just went to Home Depot and we found O-rings. I don't know which one is going to fit. Definitely recommend getting the uh, AR-15-383 O-ring kit. Link below. Because then you know for sure those O-rings are for that power washer. So playing this O-ring game is no fun at all. Especially when I'm using a tool like that, I could actually just bust the O-ring and then I'm just up a creek. I'm thinking that one is gonna be tough to get on, but this is probably one size bigger than that. So maybe we wanted to get 207, but we'll see if we can get the 206s on there. Side by side, I don't know. So there's that. So we'll just put a lot of this on here so we can get it uh, in and out pretty easy. We'll do this one. And then, so with all this lubrication, we're gonna need one of these. See? All right, so let's go ahead and get this O-ring on the deck and patio dual head. See? Get a friend to do it if you got arthritis. I know there's a lot of people who are getting this product specifically because it's easy. They can do it themselves. And they don't need to bring in outside help. You know, it uh, maintains their independence and they don't have contractors running in and out of their yard and stuff like that. And you can get everything clean that you need to get clean. But without the O-ring, we're done. If it isn't the right size, what we're gonna get is we're gonna get leaking out of this section here. When you do lubricate it, you're actually uh, extending the life of the rubber, uh, protecting it, right? So look how easy this goes. Check that out, guys. The O-ring does work. The okay. O-ring does work. The there is, does work. There's no- uh, Even if it's not the perfect size, it was uh, just big enough, just enough to seal that up. That's mm -hmm. nice to know. Yep, AR15383, 10 inch patio and driveway cleaner. I've got a dirty, table here. I'm gonna use this radial thing because I wanted to kind of agitate the soap. I put some Dawn dish soap on there, see what happens. We see it. One of the complaints I had heard is that you have to hold this handle down all the time and it kind of hurts if you're doing long-term uh, pressure washing. So I'm right gonna there. hold it down because it doesn't lock. Okay. There's nothing I can push. All right, let go. loose my hand. You guys have seen our previous video. Right here. Ah. Push the handle down and put this cable cuff on, lock it and it will stay on. Okay. Look at that able to do that on the concrete. I don't know why I did it. Probably because, you know, it looks clean. Oh, wow, look at there. Look at that. I can definitely see that there's some parts of the glass that are not coming clean. I'm gonna clean it off like this. So plants have resins and biofilm and and they can really adhere to certain things such as this. So that was not powerful enough to strip clean uh, these little areas. Let's tip the table. Hold on, oh, there we go. You got it, you're the man. And the table's flexing, so I don't know if that glass is gonna stay in there, so. Hi, this is my changing room. <laughs> Be a go-go oh, dancer. Hi. Oh, hi ho, Tim. And if I were you, I would use the AR-15383. Hit it. Let's do it. I'm just gonna do a quick spray with the conical tip just to get off those harder uh, areas. I'm just gonna show you how easy it is since we've lubed this. The simple. spiral conical tip. Guys, I want you to listen to the noise. It is soothing. Deep tissue massage. Massage? Massage. A swishish massage? Why not? It was a test, it was why, fun. Why wouldn't you do it? We've cleaned, hey. a, we've cleaned a fence with it. It goes ring around the rosy. If I was a mouse kin in the land of mouse kin and, and I was running through somebody's garage, this is a playground to the mouse kins. Well, it's a little it's merry, a go merry go round. Merry go round. Merry go round. That's so cute. All right, guys, stay tuned. Now it's time for Mary to go brown. <laughs> Say hi to life. That's the sound of it working. Yeah, so the constant moving back and forth actually allowed him to get up under this uh, crevice here and dislodge the dirt, as we can see. Or that's a seal, but that actually looks like a dirt, moss, and mildew lodge all the way up in the hole. You could spend all day trying to get this perfectly clean, but you maybe even want to just take off the glass and then do it that way. Ebola is lodged within there. Spider Works eggs. Within. Uh, all human kinds eggs. Of nasty, uh, <laughs> human eggs. Yuck. Let's see if we can get uh, the conical to dislodge this. on the 
the end of all of our attachments. Just get rid of the fingernail. So we can actually use the brush so we don't have to get a different brush. And we can actually run it across here and dislodge whatever we can by pressing down on it. It's not what the brush is for, but the Garth Vapor crew always imp improvises. It's not what the brush is for, but we're into home remedies. But it is what the brush is five. C! If we see how the water is beating right here, that means there's probably uh, an oily residue. Degrease that or, but there's still this, this lipid oily residue here. Get in here and scrub it out. Backside, looks like it's fine. This is gonna be fine. We can just paint that straight up. You may wanna use an abrasive sandpaper to really let that paint soak into the pores and the crevices. And you're just creating a bigger surface area for everything to attach to. See? So this has been scrubbed, degreased, uh, as best as we're gonna get it. And then it's, uh, it's been allowed to dry. And there's still some grease on there, as you can see. But we're gonna hit it with the high heat, see what happens. Got the high heat ultra. Extensions can also be used to roll out uh, wire or line for any particular reason. See? See? Don't forget to subscribe, guys. So we're putting the uh, high heat enamel on the outside of this fireplace. That's on the back side. If you're interested, you can uh, make ornate design on our fireplace that we use the Assault Rifle 383 on. I've found a tennis ball that I used to play with when I was a young frog. We'll just soak it and rim it. We rim, rim, until it's done. And then it looks old. See? 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 The victorious Panzer Division scene. World War Set, mate! German tanks in the backyard! I missed! Another one! Another German tank! One more missed it again, mate! Ah! I got it! Mm -hmm. Okay, go away. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, go. Oh, well. The blue clean. 3A3. This Hi is there. the review. The show after the show. This is the, the show, show shows, after the show. The show of shows. We're the showmen. And we're selling seashells down by the seashore with the blue clean 383 assault rifle. Well, that's what it felt like, did it not? Let me put this out of the way here. When I pulled those weeds, it sure did. Talk turkey. Yeah, so what are the things that we like about the electric power washing unit? We'll go with that. Meet me halfway, meet me halfway. We'll ride that roller coaster. Meet me halfway Later. right there. Oh! And comment, like, subscribe, and share. What else? Uh, you what know were what? we talking about? What we liked about it. This uh, all right, particular buddy. And you used to machine. use You used to use gas-powered uh, Landol? Land, Landon? I used a DeWalt and uh, a Landon. Yeah. Oh, a Landa. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. A Landa, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Orlando. Yeah, a Landa and a DeWalt. Different, so, so different species of the, the power uh What were you washer. power washing? Everything. Homes. Sidewalks. Oh, homes. Computer. He was blowing homes oh, away. homes. Everything. He was just power washing them like an F4 tornado. You have to power wash your house before you paint it. I painted many homes. Right, right. And I, and I actually used this device in a previous video mm -hmm. uh, for a deck. I stripped the deck of all the debris. I did have to go back and sand it because it did splinter a little bit. 
but this is a pretty good machine to do that with because uh, you're not going to strip the wood too much as you would with a 4800, which you could just totally cut right into that wood. Right. This is low. This is yeah. kind of low power, but definitely doing the job on concrete. It's doing the job on a car wash, like you'd want low power on a car mm -hmm. wash. Like my favorite thing probably was uh, the noise, noise factor. Oh, and the fact it that it's not on all the time. Annoying. Yeah. A, it a wasn't gas. an annoying sound. Right. Gas is annoying. And so with the gas, you might, uh, if you were mowing down those weeds and the brush was thick and flashes and images kept coming mm -hmm. with the rumble and the tumble of the gasoline engine, you might get flashed back into your days in Nam. Oh, Nan not, Tuckett. I'm, Nan? Well, my days at Laser Tag, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Well, wait. Yeah, I mean, I never enlisted. Right. All right. But I did have a few... Uh, Times a laser port. <laughs> Just mowing down those kids now with my laser gun. It and when fun. we were uh, out in a different country, I mean, who's to say what hanky panky might have gone down? It is you know, it is on the AR laser 15. tag. Oh, I thought something. Tag your head. Okay, so check it out. Did you like this guy? I did. I yeah. used bigger ones. I was surprised at the, how effective it does it in a one stroke back stroke. I'm <laughs> doing the back stroke. The difference I mean, between this one and the gas-powered one is I the gas-powered one has so much power that it actually lifts it off the ground to where you can move it back and forth. Oh, so it, it hovers. Great. Oh, I see what it does. That's what that does. Okay, so it this doesn't this quite do, do it, but there was some ability of that. It was thrusting up. It was, you, it you're not going to get to Mars no, I did the job. on one of these guys. Oh, Although this does look like a little rover robot that you can mm -hmm. have around your house that just bumps into things. That's what robots do, don't they? They just, they're, oh, there's something there. It's cool because it's There's small. something there. Yes. Detaches, small, put it away. And it didn't nice make that straight hard line. Right. It was very kind of feathered like as it did it. And then this one was the uh, Thrasher. But again, all these were, were stuck. Remember we had the O-ring problem with we, we which did. we fixed mm -hmm. right on the spot. Which if I was to ever buy something like this or anything that had O-rings, I would definitely go online and buy a package of extra O-rings, yeah. all sizes. And if they if they try to sell you G-rings, that's the gimmick. No, no G-rings. No. You want the O-rings, especially when they say you could get in on the market and sell it to your friends. Get the ones of multiple sizes. Yeah. It size doesn't matter when it comes to this. Trust me. And then you remember how this uh, swivel back and forth from mm -hmm. laser yep. beam to fan. Oh, one thing I liked about this was uh, I've sprayed uh, my kids and her friends in the yard, and it's like, it's not going to hurt them. It's not the laser beam, but it's a whole big bath of misty water. You could, probably, cool. you could probably hook this up, oh. tape it to a, a post, tape tape the wand down, and it could just run through it like a sprinkler all day. Yeah. It's a, yeah. Good, it's a good mister. Yeah, and you can have a trigger station where one of the boys or girls has, uh, or whoever. <clears throat> uh, also, what I liked about this was... Uh, Blue's my favorite color. Oh, hi! Oh, hi. Mm, it reminds me of being clean. Also, what I liked about this was... Oh, if you're doing movies and film, did you see the uh, the the hurricane-like effect that you could actually have if you're doing like a shot from the head to toe or on the feet or something like that? I mean, it's going to be minimal. But if you got one or two of these directed, you could create a hurricane-like scene with the real water effect. If you, you didn't want to, like, post-process all that water and have it really drench them, sure. And you're not going to get that with special effects. No. I and mean, you're going to get that with the, the simplistic you're practical effect. You're going to get that effect. with the AR blow. Right. I mean, there's one thing I didn't really quite like about this whole thing. Let's say. What would you say that you didn't like about Not this, this particular, but the machine in whole? Oh, okay, okay. Let's let's discover its faults. One speed. Right. You can't turn it down. You can't turn it up. And you it's would change one speed power through distance nozzle. Gas power. They have a choke. They have a turtle speed and a rabbit speed. So if you're doing industrial things, yeah. you just want to go there. You don't want to enlist a bunch of these. But this is a safe speed. It's a good for speed. the average home. It's a good. It's a good homeowner. speed. Yeah, you really don't need to go any higher. Nobody has got a business. Go any lower. It's fine. You need to play the Goldilocks game. You do. Just you want to be. You don't oh, you got to look right, right in the lens. Oh, I'm, I'm right here. Yeah. Oh, hi. Uh, hi. Uh, hi. I'm talking to you and you. And oh, you. now now let's edit. Let's actually edit in a random sitting down. Oh, hi. Right in the middle of a conversation. Ready? Let's go.
Oh, hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> How are you doing today? Kim. Nice to meet your acquaintance. Nice to be acquainted with your acquaintance. Nice to be acquainted with your meetance. It's very nice to be hey. acquainted hey. to you. The do you. Hey, let's do the Donald. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the Molina. Get it, lady. Get it, lady. All right. No, no, no. This is what they do. What was up with this conical shaped one? This is the one that spun around, so you can hear it rattle. I liked it. You want something to drink? No, uh, I do. Yeah, uh, you want me some? It spins. It's got a wide conical uh, path. Uh, that's pretty good. Tastes just like the faucet. Hey, it's also a water dispenser. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can just do your entire table. Uh, this may be outrageous, it's but, like a Britter. but uh, Britter. yeah, you can do Bobby Sue and then their cousin Joanne and then everybody throughout the table when uh, turkey time comes. Oh, and the birthday parties. And, and I bet uh, you could use the soap dispenser and insert uh, a syrup. Syrup. To yeah, make that sure, would be something. To make sure... That, that would be something. Yeah. And it's soda. It's Italian sodas for everyone. This is now an Italian soda technically machine. Technically, you could because with the soap box... Derby? You can put anything in it. Pancakes, molasses, <laughs> melted butter. Honey. New pair of shoes. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing today? Yeah. Thanks for all the things you've done for us. Thank <laughs> you. Sillies. Mm -hmm. We <laughs> have reviewed the AR-383 like nobody's business. Yo, we've done the AR-383 review like no one's business. Let me tell you what we've done to it. Nobody's business. <laughs> I mean, people don't like when I go Broadway. Did you know what we found out today? What? The AR is not a $150. You can slash that by ten dollars? No. Oh, fifteen? No. So we're slashing prices. Is it twenty? It's one easy payment of one hundred sixteen dollars seventy three cents. Look, arrives in two Over days. Here. Amazon Prizzle. That's pretty nice, dude. It was a uh, hundred and fifty five well, we dollars last week. One hundred fifty three. One hundred fifty three dollars last week. They just watched the video. Twenty five ninety nine for that surface cleaner. Here's the pressure washer. Oh, it comes with the brass fitting for 120. Get another one. Oh, for 142. So let's do this. $25 plus $16. What is that? That would have been $140. Hey, 142 is actually still still the surface cleaner. That's still 10 and the 116. That's $11 cheaper than what it was originally. And now you get a surface cleaner. I bet you can add for another 20 something else to that which would make it one, two, three attachments for maybe five dollars and more, or ten dollars more than it was last week for just the right. AR three eight three. And when we were reviewing uh, the AR three eight three, this extension comes with the surface cleaner. Mm -hmm. You see that extension, but you can actually use that extension with the other wand types. Yeah, they're all in, uh, universal. And you can see the this wand type, and then that wand type. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you got the the suds dispenser. You got the surface cleaner. So for 142, you were doing everything that we did. Mm. Minus the Vicks Vapor Rub. Let's look into the Vicks minus, Vapor Rub. Minus the 7 Eleven soap. Oh, minus the 7 Eleven dish soap. Mm -hmm. Touche. Uh, minus the 30 second cleaner. Touche. But that's all. Oh, but 30 second cleaner did work pretty well. 30 second clean. What so they that? got a variety of different things. What? 53 bucks for a gallon? Oh, pack it's of a four. pack of four. Still, dude. Dang. But do you see that that's very expensive? Yeah, and I would actually go that pack of two route for that 30 seconds cleaner, what? outdoor cleaner, uh, the one that mixes with your water hose. I would actually go with that. Why? Um, for, because it does all the mixing for you. For water hose application? I mean, I personally think that you could save your $53. Multiply that by roughly three times, and now you have an AR water jet cleaner, no chemicals. You can clean anytime you want, any time of year. It's not just for moss mildew and other things. It's for fruit ninja stuff. It's to, to fill your bird bath. 
to clean your lawnmower. You think the 30 second clean is going to tip your lawnmower and clean it for you and spill out all the, all the gas onto the lawn? No, you got to do that yourself. Uh, that doesn't make sense. It's, on the right, it says 30 seconds outdoor cleaner, one gallon concentrate, 25 bucks. So that's two and a half gallons. That's not the kind we got. Oh we, my God, no get, way. We didn't get two and a half gallons, but it's uh, 20 bucks. So we're talking about seven to $10. It's right there. 30 second cleaner, $10. No, you didn't see it. So 10 bucks. Every time you want to clean, you got to pay 10 bucks for that bottle. It's bleachy, it's stinky, it's poopy, it's it's poopy. But you can see in our review, it did the job. It, 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 it worked. It for work. that particular application, okay? So that was a moss, mildew, algae, and mold. But the backyard the backyard smelled like chemicals. Uh, yeah. It got bleached all over the grass. It bleached actually the grass. It turned brown spots on the grass. Uh, bleached, it bleached, ble- bleached my shoes, bleached my clothes. How do you think Michael Jackson got to that particular skin color over time? He wasn't too thrilled when that. Shut up, and I hope you like me. He was using 30 second cleaner. Yeah. Yes. Now, if you need some tidy whiteys, go to Amazon. Amazon's where to get the tightest whites. Speaking of tidy whiteys, there's Walter Whitey. Barium and beryllium. No, barium and bromium. Ah. 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 All right, guys. One. So, check it out. Let's check out some of these Amazon reviews that they people spew forth. Let's, let's just see. One of them was... You can We're not even recording. Yeah, we are. Home. One of them was you can use a garden hose. They're, they said that this is equivalent to a garden hose. No. Yeah, they did. No. There's no scientific testing done in, in that regard. I got, that guy's a, a straight up a straight up not nice guy. Chances are he had uh, little to no, no pressure at his house for just the water period. So, I mean, if you have no pressure, oh. and by that I mean, like, you're you turn on the water and it's just dripping out. And there's no pressure pushing the water out towards the AR three A three, but it, but it's not as good, right? Yeah, it's not as good. Yeah, it it need, you need to put through a gallon per minute number through the hose, and when you've got pressure shoving it through the hole, that pressure goes up because it can get its gallons per minute. Right, and I'm, ass- and I'm assuming that they that they've made their engine to the specifications of the average gallons per minute coming out of the average home, not a big tank connected right. to the industrial truck that so you have. So if you've got a house that has low water pressure, they didn't build the engine to go into overdrive or to suck out your water at a, a condo, nineteen hundred psi. Right. These are some of the dope ways to do it. You yeah. can fill up a, a a pool from a distance. If you've got a huge ranch house, this is cool too. Like a giant sprawling estate. I mean, the gas is maybe going to do like like the barn you have out there. Oh man, if you if you got an in ground swimming pool at your house and you got guests coming over and you have a walkway patio around it, this this is perfect to have. Even on a sprawling estate, oh, yeah. I mean, because you this could is... honestly ho- you could honestly hold the AR three eight three's handle, and if, you know what I mean, and you had like a, a longer extension cord, right, and just drag it along with you as you're power washing. Yes, I mean it's that easy. Yeah, because uh... the wand's not heavy. There's not a lot of pressure coming out to where it's like, whoa, whoa. I that's what. No, you that's can't. What, that's like, what Gandalf said. Yeah. <laughs> oh. He's like Frodo the wolf. Frodo baggy pants. Hey, oh hi. So what? What's included in your box if you order this particular thing is the 20 foot high pressure hose, 35 uh, foot power cord featuring mm-hmm. auto reset. Ground fault current interrupter module, high pressure washer spray gun, adjustable spray lance. Hey. We wanted to do the jousting. There's our lance. Bye 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 bye. Turbo spray lance. Oh, there's. Oh, that's what in sync was missing. Was the turbo spray lance. Baby, bye, 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 bye. So we got the 14 ounce detergent bottle for easy application. Quick connect garden hose adapter. That's that plastic piece of crap. We've got the one year bumper to bumper warranty with mm-hmm. US. Dude, I don't see any bumpers, dude. No. That's where they got you. Because when you go in and you're like, hey, I want to fulfill this warranty, they'll be like. Bumper to bumper. There ain't no bumpers. Right. Bumper You're out bump, of luck. Clackety clack. And then they bump you. You live out the U.S. They ain't got your back because no. this is only U.S.-based customers only. And they're like, let me look at your arm. I see heroin tracks. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So we got the uh, lower model, which is the 1500 PSI. We can go up to 2000 PSI. This is all within the AR family. They all have their... Uh, That's odd. 
It's 27 pounds. Oh, yeah. They've all got their little different variations or whatnot. But mm. that AR383, look, it stands out right there. This looks like the new model, the new design that they're actually using. Yeah, look at that. With the 383S. It's seven more S. pounds. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's getting heavier. Yeah, AR it's getting blue, heavier. AR390SS, that's 41 pounds. My God, dude. That's With almost double. It's almost double. 100 extra PSI. No, it's not worth it. Uh, they got five extra foot of cord and mm-hmm. ten, so you got a total of extra fifteen feet. You actually get fifteen extra feet with the three ninety SS. That's not if you need if you need the distance. Obviously, you might want to go with that. Mm-hmm. Not like you can't get extra feet by putting in an extension cord and an extra. Hose. I would I would always get an, but, I would always click the accessories and get an extra hose. I would always get, I would <laughs> dude. I would always get doubles of everything. Yeah, I, buy, I would just stock up, dude. Think of it as Costco. How many Anything, hoses are you going to need in a lifetime? It don't matter what project Five. you have, dude. You may want to just not move your power washer and be like, oh, I just want to I want to cook, connect 40 foot of hose, yeah. get it done. Do they have an extra hose They do. You, you can buy it, yeah. Okay. We got 25 yeah, that's feet it. extension. Yeah, for 24 bucks. You're paying, you're paying less than a dollar a well, foot. We were, we were at 20. Yeah. So for another 25 bucks, you can get, you know, you can have 45 feet of hose. Perfect. So you can oh, leave. but you can't connect that hose to the other hose, can you? You should be able to, yeah. You should be able yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. One's a nipple connection. Yeah, one's a nipple connection into the gun. You get a nipple connection into the screw adapter. I, I don't think you can link up hoses like that. Uh, yeah. I don't think you can because this is not going to fit into there. So you can't just have two of these and then extension, uh, extension, like a set of uh, Christmas lights that you... Just uh, type in uh, AR383. Okay. Uh, AR383. Uh, um, c- potatoes? Hose connector. H- hose connector. Now, we're, we're going down... I don't know. I was talking about it. Why can't you do that? Look, it, it has different... It has different... Oh, these. oh. Yeah. This is actually... Yeah, okay. No, you're wrong. I'm right. I mean, you're right. I'm wrong. Yeah. This is the 25 foot extension. Yeah. This is where you can't use this alone. No. You it's have to use poorly, this yeah. with that other hose. Uh-huh. So this isn't a replacement hose. This is a use with to get that extra 25 feet. Yeah. Taking which... you to 45 feet just from the machine to the gun. Which is all you need. And you've got the electrical connection. And the hose, which tether you to whatever location, which you can extend those with an extra hose or an extension cable. Fine. Make sure that GFCI thing doesn't sit in a puddle of water. As you extend things out, that can actually happen. Um, one of the things that they added in here, they said an ore. They threw an ore. You get this little uh, doohickey attachment. It's right there. They've got the plastic one or this thing over here. And I don't know what that thing is. I don't either. We, we didn't get that one. We didn't get that one. That's not what was in our package. You may receive that in your package. I think it's a, uh, I think it's a Cracker Jack thing, where you look in your Cracker Jack box and you're like, "What did I win a tattoo? Who <laughs> 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 get?" Giggles. Thank you. Skiggles. Skittles. That's why he's here. Skittles. That's why. That's why he's here. Uh, so we got a couple video reviews on Amazon. Let's start with number one. Which brass hose connector as a replacement? I that that's the title of his new book. Dude, this is this this mother should write Stephen King titles. I would suggest not purchasing the adapters listed on Amazon as per AR Blue Clean's website. It's important to understand that your AR Blue Clean power washer has metric threads on the water inlet. That is important. Metric threads. I think I had to get an adapter for mine because mine was metric and something wasn't matching up that was four or five years ago the clear adapter also has metric <laughs> threads and therefore that's must a, be screwed on the water inlet that's hilarious does it have to be hooked up to water where do you see that to a water supply or do you fill the tank up with water yeah uh, uh, where the blue blue adapter has us threads versus the metric it must be attached to the end of the garden hose which also has us threads <laughs> no does it have to be hooked up to a water to a water supply i don't know that's just or do you fill a tank up with water i think the simple there's no an- tank to fill up with water i think we should answer that question i think i should answer that question i wish I, can i answer these questions yeah i i think we should say you goddamn fucking idiot 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the water molecule is hooked up to the water supply, and the hose is hooked up to the water molecule. Basically, do you hook up the water to a water supply? <laughs> no. And then it says, or do you fill up, fill tank up with water? Here's no third option. You don't need one of these. <laughs> yeah, 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 this is a little bit beyond you. Yeah, you uh, the only pressure washing you're doing is at the sink on the dishes, and I think that actually might be too much for you as well. I'm going to go take a shower. Do you need a water supply, or do I need to fill up the tank with water? water. Do I need a towel adapter? <laughs> yeah. What if my towel is too far from my body? Is there a way that I can... Adapt? <laughs> the hose situation? <laughs> now, okay, so is it good for house or home siding? Answer. There's, there's a whole bunch of things. Will it butter my bread for me? No, it won't butter your bread. <laughs> no. Okay. Will it cream your coffee? Actually, it could. We ran that scenario. You know what would be really oh, hilarious? We Check did. this out. We did. We get enough money. We get enough subscribers, enough people out there that we run the test of, we put the, it was pulling water out of that bucket. Yeah, it was. So we, we st had standalone water in a pot, in a container that we did that corn in. Mm -hmm. It was pulling out the water, although the motor was having a bit of an issue. Maybe if you raised it up to create the downward pressure of water into the machine, it would feed it easier. And the only reason I'm saying this is in that soap bottle, we fill it to the brim with Mentos. Oh, yeah. The hose, we've unloaded gallons and gallons of whatever the proper soda is. What is it? Diet Coke or Coke, something? Coke, yeah. It's probably going to be a bomb, dude. It'd probably, it probably... It, it's a missile. It would probably burst. Yeah, parts would come flying out at high rates of speed. Mm-hmm. But because we bought the extra accessories and attachments, Mentos, we can replace that. <laughs> the Mentos adapter. <laughs> I'd want to wear protection. Get some goggles. Click the uh, link below. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> click the link below. <laughs> huh? Say, click the link below and point up. Click the link below. <laughs> <laughs> can I get a warranty on this product? No. And, and what does the Turk say? The Turk says, sure, new one comes with manufacturer's warranty. This Turk ain't no jerk. It oh. specifically says, bumper comes to bumper. to bumper to bumper, one year warranty. It's what it says. Yeah. So again, this is just people asking questions instead of doing the research. Yeah, I think we need to call up AR right now. Call up it's AR. so simple. And go, hey, I'm missing bumpers on my, uh, I'm missing bumpers on my power washer. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I, li I like that answer. Tess, one year. Tests one year, but you must retain the original receipt what? and have an RMA number that you can go get by calling the company. It's a lot for such a filmsy machine. Filmsy. So it's a filmsy flimsy, machine. Flimsy. It's a flimsy it's machine. It's tests one year. Just one year. Yeah, but it says tests. I know. But you must re retain the, is that oregano? O oregano manufacturers warranty. Yeah, the yeah. oregano <laughs> receipt and have an RMA number that you get by calling the company. It's period. It's. Yeah, he meant to say ma. It's period. It's. It's. It's its own sentence. It's not. It is. <laughs> yeah. It's, oh, and it's a run on sentence because he didn't put the yeah. proper two spaces after the period. Here's how you'd read it. RMA number that you can get by calling the company. It's. A lot for a lot such for a filmsy machine. <laughs> yeah, I it's mean we we've done some film on it. It's flimsy. <laughs> I know, but you're lisdexic. Should you comment and be like, "Hey, when you can learn to write, you can learn to use the <laughs> AR three eight three. Hey, I think you should start off with counting, bro. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Put the electronics down. Yeah. Stop looking yeah. at language. Don't blame it on T nine. Work at your work on yourself, bro. Okay. Will this remove peeling paint? Yeah, it will peel your, your damn paint unless the paint has been uh, adhered there in, in such a professional way. I was able to strip off uh, some of the stain on the deck, which is paint-like. Yeah, for sure. For sure you could strip paint. Mm -hmm. It depends on what adapter you use. If you use the surface cleaner, uh, no, I, I don't think it does, has enough power to strip paint unless it's ready to go. Ready to peel off. Well, paint that's not already falling off is pretty easy to strip. Is it good for cleaning wooden decks? Did great on our deck stripped one and lightly clean the porch. Sidewalk looks no. Yeah, I agree. That's all 
100 percent i use 7-eleven dawn dish soap and it works great spray it on the deck and let it set for 30 minutes and then spray off it cuts grease in the dirt without the costly deck washes kiss those chemicals goodbye yeah kick the chemicals to the curb i just if you need a degreaser that's fine but i think the force of the power washer is kind of degreasing anyways yeah but whatever if you need to put the degreaser on sure do your damn deck wash but remember the dawn left a little blue ring for a little bit and then it kind of like faded and went away will it clean house gutters so i'm going to give you the long answer yes fair enough that's it it is most likely going to be too bulky and risky to carry to the top of the roof absolutely don't carry it to the top of the roof you could though you could but you just got to be careful it's a damn machine connected to a bunch of hoses you want to sit there and trip over that no you don't will it clean house gutters i think and it says it says right here if there is one then it would probably do a decent job as long as your downspouts aren't clogged too badly so yeah you could shoot a beam this right question down. can be taken both ways okay go ahead are you talking about cleaning the inside of the gutters or the outside <laughs> that, of the gutters that's what <laughs> That's what he said. The inside of the gutters. Why would you power wash the inside of your gutters anyway? It's going to create a mess. Yeah. So, What's your favorite way to do a gutter? By hand. Is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, by a scoop in hand. Yeah. You can actually really just then you, deposit yeah. the material in the right spot. Use a scoop. Get all that, that crap out of your gutter. I like to use a... Um, and then spray it out. I like to use a, a fucking leaf blower. Yeah, that's fine too. But it does... It does blow everything everywhere and then all the gravel but it's from still gonna be dry shingles. though you use the power yes. washer it's gonna get everything wet then it's gonna drip on your house i've done the and power and then it's gonna washer. get on your roof and then it's gonna get uh all that water right you're spraying your gutters out say you have dirty gutters and it's spraying out what's all that water going towards the downspout up oh, next thing you know your downspout's clogged because you sprayed a bunch of right. junk in the downspout so now you yeah. gotta <laughs> untank you know you gotta take that off yeah don't be an idiot and then go hey i know where i'll start with this roof i'll yeah. start with the downspout yeah, so you're just clean you're just and then you're, you're gonna creating, clean it again you're literally creating work <laughs> yeah, you got to work from one end to the other. If you can keep the material dry, keep the material dry. If if you got to get it wet, then, yeah, use the AR, dude. Yeah, use the AR or, uh, you know what, clean your gutters once, then go invest in the... Uh, Isn't there a brush you could send down? The foam, dude. Go, 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 go get the foam inserts. You think so? Just put foam all inside your gutters and it will never happen again. The foam has, the foam has pour, uh, pores will be in the link. The foam, foam has pores... Does, the water does it get food stamps? All, all food stamps. It is uh it's Trump administration. It's poor approved. Is it poor? It's very spore. It's a poor. <laughs> <laughs> it's very sporous. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Does the hope uh does the soap and water come out of the same nozzle? What are these questions? They've obviously I mean, here, check it out. Check it out. Here, here here's Here's why we made that video. Uh, I, all that. these questions have been answered by watching the video. Does it come out of the same nozzle? No. You got the soap attachment, dude. Mm -hmm. What do you you think? You think you just load up some can, some reservoir inside the thing and it just shoots it all out? Well, look, all look at the answer. Go read, ahead. Read, read that. I mean, um, it's hilarious. The very end is hilarious. All pressure comes from one nozzle. Easy to operate, but it. Come on. But it takes time to set up. What are you even talking about? Look at our video. It took us, I think, like 45 seconds. Honestly. It's plug into the hose. But, 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 the it's so... But that know. answer isn't one. Yes. I've used mine twice. Does the soap and water come out of the same nozzle? Yes, I've used mine twice. All pressure comes from one nozzle. The pressure comes from the... Does uh, it come from the nozzle? No. It comes from the machine. Sure, the but, nozzle opening can vary, make a variation in pressure. As you can see, and I don't know why zero out of five people. God, I don't know why zero out of five people found this unhelpful. But if you look at, <laughs> if you look, no, at, I don't know. if you look at answer three, I think that sums it up perfectly. Yeah, I'm going to report abuse. That's actually abuse of the English language, right there. Shut Easy up. to operate, but takes time to set up. Did you mention she has to take off whatever adapter she has and put on the soap dispenser? But it takes time. It takes so much time to set up. I need to answer some things. We're gonna we're gonna answer in, in dude. We should have a whole look at this right here. Diane is such a pretty name. Good Lord Almighty! This is how I'll start off every one of my answers. There's okay, not all capitalized. There's a soap dispenser attachment. Use Vix Vapo. 
Rob. Do you, do you, do you, do you, do you okay. medicated <laughs> vapo? Look above, and look, look, guys. So he's going to uh, respond to this. And someone asked the question four years ago, <laughs> and he's <you're, you're> now <laughs> responding to it because I, I just did my testing. But you need to let them know. He's I fake. hope this isn't too late. And I hope this helps. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I hope you haven't started your project yet. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you haven't started your project. Your just project got the message. Already. <laughs> I just received <laughs> this message in my inbox. My inbox. Yeah. Good Lord Almighty, there's a soap dispenser attachment. Use Vix Vapor to lube up the tip. Just the tip. <laughs> And fill soap dispenser and attach to wand. You're welcome. Your set uh, and your setup is literally forty five seconds. If it takes a long time to set up, you're not <laughs> talking about the AR three eight three. Your setup takes. Honestly, Less thirty seconds. Than Forty-five seconds. Yours. It takes longer to brush if your teeth. It takes any longer. You should donate the washer to a friend and go drive really fast into a deep pool of water that you may or may not have created using the <laughs> AR three eight three. Three's other extension <laughs> one. The pool filler upper. Uh, <laughs> uh, the lake creator. Okay, here we go. Let's move on. Don't find that answer. It's linked to a different account. Thank you for answering the question. This is how we can answer a whole lot of questions. This is how you could drive traffic over to the. You potentially could drive it right back out to Garth Vapor, back right into there. Yeah, we need to find comments that are from 2014. It doesn't matter. People are uh, looking at that. Um, but not that one. That was dumb as fuck. Has anyone had any experience using it on cement patios to remove moss buildup? Moss buildup? No. But are you worried about damaging the moss? Because we're talking about mildew and mold and dirt. And that's under the moss. So once you get the moss off, which this will do, then you can get to the dirt. Right. Should be strong enough for that. If your patio is yeah, huge, I would take a while. But it should be good for small patios. It's good for large patios. The difference between the industrial one is the industrial is a quick debris scooter outer, and then it's a we're cleaning, and then it's an edging with the AR three. They're full of crap. The AR three eight three is still a very similar method. It's get the debris out. But now when you're making a pass, you do have to stay on there just a little bit longer. Okay. So for really big jobs like driveways, large uh, decks, et cetera, you'd want a gas powered one. Not true. Especially for not wood, not with the wood. Why wouldn't you use the 10 inch deck and uh, driveway and patio cleaner disc? For your driveway. That's why Dude, it's so that's why easy. you have it. That's what that's what they have it there for. And if you looked at the videos using the wand. If you looked at the videos, it was one pass. Yeah. Just a straight pullback. I wasn't putting any pressure on it. I didn't actually even have to lift the gun. It's simple. The bristles were you know, lifting I've, I've, it off. I've actually used the bigger one, like the twenty or like whatever that is, the, the yellow forty Oh inch. the wider pass. Yeah, the forty inch ones that you cleaner. get for gas powered ones. And they leave lines. This one did not leave a line, which I was surprised. So yeah, yeah, it, it, it no. works good and it's light. Yeah, it cleans your watch. The click the link below, you'll see. And here, here, it washes fences. Yeah, patios. Sure, patio furniture. Yes, it creates a, a nice gust of wind for a hot summer's day. Mm. Mm, right? Summer's day, and it's a hovercraft, and it's a hovercraft. The difference is in these questions. Come on, dude. It's right now. It's at one hundred twenty dollars. And what people are nitpicking about is, huh, well, how good of a job does it do? If not doing anything is a zero, and then getting it 
100% down to the molecule clean without removing any of the original material is 100. You're actually right now complaining. So you're never going to get to 100. Let's just put that out there. No. You're going to have to get uh, down to the molecule. The AR383, I think, can get it to 90. Mm -hmm. And now you're complaining about five points this way or that way. Hey, how about instead of waiting... 12 months to clean it, it you go back and do it in 10 it months. It should be strong enough for that. If your patio is huge, then it would take a while, but it should be... Of course, it's going to take a while. It's bigger. Yeah, there's a real good math equation here that you could do. Hey, what, 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 how, how can I get to your front door? Well, you can get to my front door through the back driveway. It's shorter. But you're not going to want to take the long driveway because it's it's longer and it will take you longer to get here. Well, no shit. <laughs> yeah, but but here's some of the other trade-offs. If you're going to bring in the gas-powered thing, then you got to make sure that the engine's functioning. You got to go get it fixed if it needs to get fixed. You got to go get the gas, right? Of the proper mixture. Is it uh, just I was just going to say unleaded? I was just going to say, you know, and I should have broke this down. We could have actually we could have actually done that, but break down the cardboard. We could no, we could have plugged it into something to break down the actual electricity being used per hour we'll do that we're going to do a kilowatt um because I, kilowatt. I can guarantee if we get a chance we're going to use one of these kilowatts and we're going to find out how much power it actually does use maybe we'll just do that on that uh she cray cray she raised does this unit have an adjustable nozzle to bring the pressure down for a car wash like high medium or low settings now it doesn't you've got one attachment which does have the range right it opens up the hole to be a fan or right. be a pinprick. Uh, I wouldn't use those for the cars. I'd use the conical jet at a distance to do the car. At a distance. Any experience in getting mold out of AstroTurf deck covering? Clorox cleanup will get rid of the mold, but test in an obscure place to see if it bleaches the AstroTurf. You know, honestly, if you're looking to get rid of mold, I would actually use the combination 30 second cleaner Mm -hmm. with the AR383. Yeah. Okay. Make sure you dilute that 30 seconds that, later. Yeah, that's got a component of bleach in it, I think. It does. Yeah. Bleach my clothes. And and you kind of get the best of both worlds there. And if it's mold is really the issue and you get it on your AstroTurf and it's embedded and perhaps even under the turf layout, right? then the 30 seconds is going to douse that, it's going to kill it, and then you can whisk it away with the water. Right. Is it powerful enough to clean black stains off concrete paving? What are those black stains for, from? And probably not. I'm going to say that it can't clean those black stains. Yeah, I don't know what the black stains are from. Yeah. That doesn't make sense to me. It could be. What if it's tar? Then no. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Are you, are you saying that black stains need to be cleaned? How difficult is it to replace the hose? Squeak, 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 squeak. Pop. That's how you've replaced the hose. And what are they talking about? Are they talking about their house hose? Because that's your own goddamn house, so... There are there, there's people here that are not reading... Anything. Does it come with a manufacturer warranty? Again, uh, refer to page one uh, where someone already asked that question. Oh, wow, that's so intriguing. Let me read more. Being a constant... Being a constant power... <clears throat> what the fuck does that mean? Okay. Being a constant power, as in kilowatts or horsepower device. So it's a constant power device, right? Yes. Is that what they're talking about? Yeah. Yeah. The horsepower is actually not a constant power, to be honest. The gas is going to vacillate up and down because well, it's a gas engine. And that's what he says over there at the end. Oh, of okay. The only way to alter the nozzle presser is by using a wide spray, lower PSI. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Whatever. Sounds good. Yeah. Whatever. Psh. Idiot. Can it sous vide? Maybe. Does it do a good job on vinyl siding? Yes. Size and weight. It's fantastic. Can you adjust the pressure? Okay, we've already done all the things. Can I? Can I adjust uh, the PSI? Uh, I want to ask this. Here's one way to adjust the PSI: take your wand and pull it back from the object. Yeah. Right. If a pounds per square inch will put a hole through your skin, do you think by bringing the wand away from your skin will it not puncture the skin? Yeah. Pull it away. Make the hole wider. Use the adjustable tip. Come on. What? Huh? says size and weight above. Tell me, show me where. Like four above. Okay, there we go. Size and I weight. I don't have the info handy at the moment. I'm sure it's listed on the... Why would you even answer the question then? 
<laughs> you have access to Yeah, you, you actually that. took the time to say, I don't have that information. But I'll tell you something you probably already know. I know, but you're in... Go to the AR383's information website. You're in the Amazon forum to see what the size and weight is. Why would you even ask that? Look, look, if... Watch. It's it's almost trolly to go around. If someone says, can you use it on your deck? Me going, I'm not sure. I've never done that before. Probably. I mean, it's Why even ask the... size and weight. 27 pounds. Doesn't say the size. It's going to be normal, dude. Oh, see? Oh, that's what it is. So it says, can I mix solution first and put into tank? It's going to get mixed again by the water that has to go through the tank and spurt out the other side. So if you dilute it to proper specifications, by the time it comes out of the end of the hose, it'll be over diluted. I'm not sure as I just follow the directions on the cleaning solution. Sorry, I can't be of more help. I don't again, know what Again, why did you answer the question? I, why, why would you even make I a mean, comment? You might need to say, okay, so first use. Couldn't take off the worst of the dirt on my Dura deck covered deck. It's a vinyl covering. Okay. Any ideas? You might need to spray cleaner before applying pressure washer. One of the simplest solutions I have in my house, one gallon, three tablespoons of dishwashing liquid, one cup bleach. This is probably very close to what a 30 second cleaner mm. might be. Spray on the surface, let it soak in one to two minutes or 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if this it is a 60 to 120 second cleaner. If this doesn't work, try professional grade cleaner. Yeah, that's what I would suggest too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you got plastic. The, the dirt and crap is so embedded and connected to the vinyl and the plastic that you need to release that connection and through force and water, that's not going to happen. Oh, and don't uh, misinterpret. Uh, you know, I couldn't get the worst of my dirt off my Dura deck covered. Are you sure it's not a dirty stain? You might think it's dirt. Dirt will just come off. It's and dirt. Dirt actually um, dilutes itself when applied to water. So it eventually cleans yeah. itself. Uh, it will actually disappear. If you get something, chances are you've got a stain. Yeah, if you get something that's so interwoven with the material, such as the carpet where we found M -M -M Mike. My, we don't talk about Mike. <laughs> but the dirt and the staining was now part of the fiber. That was actually what was making the fiber. And it integrated itself into the. So fiber. as soon as it's, you... it's like you, <laughs> it's like it's like dyeing your shirt black. Going, I want that shirt back to its original right. cover. Can I power wash that black off? Right. No, you cannot. Right. It is now part of the fabric. No, you need some sort of crazy. You need bleach. You need something to release whatever chemical component is on and the fiber, and you're not going to embedded do it. in the fiber. And you're not going to do that with the force and power and water. I don't. No, think. no, no force on God's green earth can do that. It would have to be so precise or whatnot. Yes. But I would, you would have to literally dip that back into some what I like to call original fluid. <laughs> right. That's all I can think of, Which man, would be bleach. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bing. But if you have the AR three eight three, you can power wash it back to existence. See? Bing. See? See? So, want a 50-foot pressure hose? Where can I buy one? You get the 20 and the 25. That's 45. Click the link below. Doesn't make you 50, right? Um, can I connect to hot water? Sure, if you can run hot water through it. I don't see why not. Can you... I don't think you're going to be able to... Like, if you're going to do it on your faucet, mm -hmm. you may not get the gallons per minute you need, but you'll have to be listening to the motor to go, is it sounding more weird like hard. <laughs> oh, I can't get the water and then it starts making weird noises right w okay it says guys where can I find the serial number and the answer says oh dude I should have been doing this the whole time and the answer sa says glad to help you <laughs> 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 it's one of the best answers yeah that may be the last answer. it is it is the last they're, answer they're but it's just forth. funny yeah. Nope, it's not. <laughs> oh, glad just, glad to help you. On it's just the, all they had to to give. That's funny. <laughs> on the back by the wheel. You you are welcome. Okay, don't do this though, guys. Don't go. You are welcome. You're just filling this whole thing up. Now I have to read that. Hello, the serial number is located towards the bottom of the unit between the wand rack and the wheel. The serial number is on a silver label on mine. Oh, so I have to go to your place uh, and look on your machine for my serial number. No. How Paleontology. Is <laughs> How is cleaning fluid applied? It's not. Read the manual. Read the directions on the back of your cleaning fluid. Is there an attachment like a jar? Yeah, there is. 
but it's more like a sports bottle, okay? The unit comes with a foam soap dispenser. We didn't use it, but we did. Look, guys, guys, the Garth Vapor crew used the soap dispenser. We did. We want to put Mentos in there. Mentos. We want to put ketchup in there and squirt it out onto our fries. We want to make perfect Kool-Aid. We want to make Kool-Aid. We want to make Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid is such a good one. Or wow. or more Ovaltine, please. Hey, Grandma likes it. The uh-huh. kids like it. There's an adapter you can put on your... Uh, At only 30, 30 grams of cards per serving. If you filled up the uh, soap dispenser full of powdered chocolate, like Nesquik, okay. the, uh, uh, the tip of your milk jug is the same as the threads on... Your uh, well, you just stick the hose. Well, you could, but you could even put. So suck you, it out. You, you could even put whatever your hose is, and you it's could. Not sc- the same. I bet you could screw. It. I bet same. you could screw. I under. bet you could. I bet you could. Oh, I bet. And you I can. bet you could do that, and then pull I, it bet ups- you could. I bet and you could. And then hold it upside down as, and then use yeah. gravity as pressure. Like an IV. Yes. And then just spray chocolate milk over everybody. <laughs> that would be fun. You guys want to see that? You guys want to see that? That'd be cool. You got to hit the Amazon. Be cool. You got to hit those t-shirts. You got to hit the like, subscribe, and share. And we'll be making chocolate milk all over everybody's face. And if you do, look at this glowing orb. Paleontology. It's almost like I'm erasing part of your chair. Put it right in my eyeball. Mm. Put it right in my eyeball. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. And then go, you go over some words. There you go, right there. There you go. <laughs> All right, ready. Let's, so we're we're recording. I live in the country with low water pressure. Oh, but everybody knows about that country. Yeah, that country. Oh yeah, yeah. So the country with low water pressure. What country? <laughs> I live back there in the country. All right. So does it work well under as well low water pressure conditions? Probably not. No. And Mike. That's Mike, dude. We found Mike again. Mike! Mike was hiding in the comments. I believe it will since the <laughs> pressure is controlled by the pressure washer. No, uh, not completely true. Check this guy out. Go two down. <laughs> <laughs> Someone took the time to write that. That's hilarious. Yeah, dude. All I got to say is John Travolta gets shorty, bro. Yeah. Do you have to bend over much to use the washer? I'm five foot eleven. Hey, you're short, bro. And and you know what they say about tall people? They what? They can't bend over. Oh, God, tall people have tall. They don't have or, knees. A tall order in life. Their knees get fused. No, you can bend over and work your little ass off because sorry to say what? you need to you need to bend over. <laughs> sorry to say yes. You need to bent should, over, so in past tense. So sorry over, to say yes, comma should be in the comma there. Yeah. You need to bent over, but think a lot had to do with it was the first time doing something like that. <laughs> I, I am so I'm having a problem right following now, this. I, right I, I don't uh, like he answered his own question, maybe. OK, so maybe they have longer wands. Here's one key, guys, that. Uh, Large area surface patio, uh, large surface cleaner has an extension on it. Mm-hmm. Okay, that gives you the extension you may need, so you don't have to bend over. I can see what she's saying. If she's too tall and she has to bend over to get the tip close mm-hmm. to the surface, I just don't think that that she's five foot eleven. Mm, she's a tall or gal. he he is five foot eleven. She's a tall gal. I'm six one, and it's fine. It's got a pretty. <laughs> So it's not it's not that the hose was long, it's that the hose is beautiful and pretty. So it's got a pretty hose, he says. And uh it says I'm five ten. And no, so not please much. Be careful. You may, depending on the area you want to wash deeply, sure if you need to get that tip down there. I'm glad we read that because I said it I thought it said yes, may you may you may depending on the area you live in. Oh, well you saw the one where it said uh will this work <laughs> outside the US? Yeah. No, it's non operational outside the US. Do you are you talking about the threads or are you talking about the uh, electricity? Because those need to you need to plug those into something. Oh my! So if God. you can get that plugged into something, yes, it will work outside the U.S. It will work. Could the dare I say it? Will it work in space? Electricity works in space. We know that. If you can get pressure buildup on the water, you can get it to the machine. 
how cool it would be for an AR-383 to be pressure washing in space. You'd get the pressure, all the stuff would be there, but it would be this giant mist of fog that would just... I was sprayed into space because eventually it would hit something. So that water would just be going... You could actually hydrate, dried out microbes on other planets, and by the time we can get there ourselves, we'll have friends to play with. Mm-hmm. Which if one? you are in a, the one you were on, we'll work outside of this. If you are in a 240 volt area, you will need a transformer. So I would probably get maybe like an Optimus Prime or a Bumblebee. Yeah. Hey. That's the transformer I would pick. You know? Because at first, you don't see it because it's more than meets the eye. Mm-hmm. More than meets the eye. I'm going to transform my arm into a hand. Hey, look. I'm going to transform myself into my bud. My bud, Kim. Hi, I'm my bud, Kim. Uh, I'm my bud, Kim. We're so stupid, dude. I'm my bud. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and we keep walking around going, dude, these are million dollar ideas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> yeah. If I took the clip from you, going, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it was a real Oscar winner, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're over here going like this, going, <laughs> I don't even. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Can you, use, can you use it outside the U.S.? <laughs> <laughs> all right guys well there you have it uh we've run through a whole bunch of the amazon reviews revitalize wood surfaces <laughs> <laughs> you got to do the neo thing dude out of the matrix revitalize you, you, you shoot him and he's like he catches the water he's like, he's like <laughs> yeah he takes it within his i'm core. revitalized <laughs> right. the wood's not alive you cut it out of the tree it's dead uh, safety is on most concrete, stone, and stucco surfaces. Great for patio, furniture, garbage can, and pet cages. Ooh. With them in it. We don't put pets in cages. <laughs> we put them in small little homes or carrying devices. At some point in time, it was people cages. Yeah. Uh, we put, like to put them in our this people in uh, our people cages slash <laughs> bedrooms. What if they just left that in? It says people cages. Yeah, pe- and people just glance over it like, that that red funny. <laughs> Can we read that again? Can we uh, use our pet homes and people cages, please? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Anyways, so you know, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking. Thanks for getting those T-shirts. Thanks for commenting, liking, subscribing mm-hmm. in the comments below. Going see if you got nothing else to say. See, click the link below. Support us. <laughs> no, for sure. I no. got kids who need to go to college. Go to that's Garth, all I care about. Go to GarthVapor.com. You know, travel there if you want to see the, some of the information. Hit the YouTube. Hit the Facebook. Hit Is the there Instagram. a GarthVapor.com? Dude, yeah, there's a GarthVapor.com. Okay. Yeah. That's where they're going to pick up the t-shirts. You're going to pick up the t-shirts. You're oh, no, comment. we call it merch. Like. It's called merch. Scratch, merch, whatever. Merch. Right? You got ideas for anything? Let us know. You want to see the power washing games? You want to see uh, the jousting? You want to see the shuffleboarding? You want to see us make coffee with the AR-383. You want to see other objects, other devices. Oh, other and, and, uh, that we have. and he doesn't know about this because I'm just now making it up. For $10 a month, you could have your online username stitched on his hat. Guys, I'll, I'll, I'll wear a Garth Vapor hat that has your, uh, your if, it's, if your name's like Big Country Boy Bumpkin 420. The reason he came up with that is because he's got that on his lower back tab. Big Pumpkin Boy. Bon. <laughs> a big bomb boy. It's property of, though. Big Bump. <laughs> there probably is a Big Country Boy Pumpkin 450 out there, 420 out there. Yeah, there is, huh? You know there is. It's already been taken. Yeah. All right, guys. But no one's taken mine. We care about delivering funny. We want to deliver funny. Okay. So... Oh, yeah. Stay with us. Look at our next one. Our next one, uh, it's going to be bigger. It's going to be better. It's going to be worse. I don't know. You be the judge of that. And like in the movie The Breakfast Club, y'all have a safe day. Mm-hmm. Peace. What? What? what and tell us what our guard Peace. vapor outro should be. Peace. Namaste. Peace. What should the outro be? Namadeus, namadeus. Hot potatoes, hot potatoes, hot potatoes. <laughs> <laughs>